nuts. All right, shake these my hand. Nuts. These nuts. Shake, shake these my nuts. hand. <laughs> <laughs> Shake my nuts. <laughs> shake um, my nuts. I want to shake this man's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Blue Ruby's podcast where we shake some nuts. Shake my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Episode number 28. I'm Adrian. Got Gore here. Got David here. Uh, you don't know what we just recorded about a minute ago, but it's okay. We're doing good on podcasts. Congratulations us. Except we're not we're not cop to Gorecast yet. Watch out, Gorecast. Yeah, watch out. We're coming, yeah, we're coming for you. Three, three Fuck years. who would ever create a stupid podcast like that. Yeah. What happened to you and Gerard's well, this podcast? Is a, this is also David's last podcast. I just want to let him right now because he's going to be found dead somewhere tomorrow. Get yeah, right what, what happened to the podcast that uh, you were doing with Gerard for a second? It, happened, it was it was up for a second. <laughs> <laughs> it vanished like mine and uh, Samuel. Yeah, two main podcast. podcasts. We got two podcasts already. That's true. And yeah, we're done. Oh man, so we almost had two a re- we almost had a live. Uh, Live, not reunion because they never all met together, but uh, a live uh, meeting at the podcast. But David pushed out. I'm sorry, I have a day job that demands my presence whenever I am needed. Put, do a little cough, cough. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I even if I'm sick, I need to be fucking available for the shit I do. Uh, I died. I'm sorry, I can't show up. Yeah, so I was I showed up in New York there for oh, a day, gosh. and uh, yeah. David couldn't show up, so therefore Chris couldn't show up. Yeah. So fuck it, I guess. I, I could have, but it would have been later in the day. And, yeah, uh, like forty bucks. I would have been there for like two. Yeah, it would have been, been a lot for like a two hours. Hour, yeah. <laughs> well, two hours. hours an hour. I could have stayed there as long as I wanted to, but <laughs> never go back. Thing. I don't even like to go to the city. <laughs> I go there, you're there for two hours, and then I'm just stuck in the city for. Well, all right. And, and then uh, cause I, talk, I get I, mugged and and fucking stabbed and and beaten. And they take sh- my switch. <laughs> They take my switch. <laughs> oh, my switch. Oh, they're shaking my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> shaking my nuts. <laughs> no, and then uh, I saw Casey out there, and then I guess when he was trying to go back, it was uh, it was also rush rush hour. Mm-hmm. So he either had oh, to pay a little Jackie more Chan. or had to uh, wait longer there. So that, that was fun. So oh. it probably worked out. Um, yeah, I ended up going to uh, the Overwatch League. That was fun. Fucking... Uh, uh, San Francisco, San Francisco just kicked the shit out of Vancouver. Like, it wasn't even a really? game. Yeah, they they four owed Vancouver. Oh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, San Francisco lost round one winners and proceeded to go four zero every single game until they won. They were pissed. Embarrassing. Uh, there was one really cool moment where uh, two actually really cool moments where uh, um, you know, in Eichenwald, the last the last turn around the corner was that chandelier up there. Yep. Uh, the Bastion turned the tank mode. And Rocket jumped up to the chandelier, he just planted himself out there, and just rained hell on everyone trying to spawn. Oh shit! And they couldn't get to it in time. That was that was funny, but uh, it was a good time. It was uh, very fun to walk around Philadelphia and just like, at every moment you could just turn, there's like some random Overwatch League jersey over there. I was like, yeah, hey, that's cool. You know who's there for that? Uh, got to be Jeff Kaplan, dude. Yeah. I saw. I saw dude. Jeff Keighley, man. That was really cool. Oh, I'm so fucking. So I was uh I I didn't get my ticket mailed to me so I had to call and they had to cancel the order but then they held it reserved for me so I had to go to the box office that day and get the ticket so I uh, got there a couple hours early when they were doing the fan event outside I was like all right cool so we did something over to the side and then uh me and the girl I'm seeing went to go walk over to the box office and I tweeted out I was like all I want to do is get a fucking picture with Jeff Kaplan that's all I fucking want. And then as we're walking up there, I'm kind of stressed out. I'm like, oh, what if they just fucked up? Because, you know, people, live events sometimes fuck up. They're like, what if we don't get a ticket? As I'm just thinking, I'm trying to focus on where the box office is at. She was like, didn't you want a picture with Jeff? And I was like, yeah. She's like, he's right there. I look over. He's just right there with, <laughs> with like two, two guys. Not, not even two fans. <laughs> like just two guys, I guess, are trying to help run the event. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I just dropped everything. <laughs> and I walk over. Hey, he looks at me like, can I get a picture? <laughs> he's like, yeah, man. He's just uh, talking to me about everything. And then I told you about that where, um. I was like, yeah, man, we got friends love Overwatch, man. We don't play any other games these days. <laughs> we want to, but we can't. Did you pitch the podcast to him? No, you know what? I was going to, I, I, right the second I fucking left, I didn't, I didn't want to go back afterwards, but the second I was, I was like, I should have asked him to, I should have asked if he could do a bumper for us, like, you know, do the intro for us or, or right, something right, like right. that. But it was also windy outside, so the audio would have sucked. And I'm sure, like, I probably, I'm sure it's probably, like, I mean, whatever. It's not the worst thing, but. Yeah, I was talking to him. I was like, yeah, dude. And I was like, uh, 
she loves Red Dead too, and she's like really trying to get me to play. As are you. And I'm like, yeah, I guess like Red Dead's like some of our games, but I just haven't got to. He's like, you should. It was my game of the year last year. And I was like, oh, Chris will like that. Chris, will, Chris yeah. will appreciate not Jeff being Jeff Kaplan that. said that. Yeah, did I? Did you see that? Yeah, he, he's like, yeah, that was my game of the year last year. See, what did I but tell then, you? But then he also said he wants Tracer and Smash. There's some there's some smart people in there. Well, he has to say that because he works for <laughs> he works for Tracer. <laughs> Tracer's the CEO. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, That's yeah, what dude, she's on the front cover. That was that was fucking so. I was so excited. Then uh, he showed up. He showed up at the event, and and I like not many people actually got a picture with him because he was running around everywhere. So I, was, I happened to catch him right there, and uh, he looked like a fucking rock star when he was walking to the Overwatch League. Everyone was fucking cheering for him. Everyone was Jeff, 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 Jeff. And Jeff. then I, I guess oh right where God. he right where he walked out, there's a good picture on Reddit where right where he walked out, there was some girl that worked for him for a couple years. I was right there and never actually got a picture with Jeff. So when he's out there, she, after he was done with the interview, she yelled, Jeff, take a picture of me. So he he literally climbed over, like, people and over benches to, ca- to get to her. <laughs> That's funny. It's fucking Jeff Kaplan. I, that was my fucking favorite picture there. I was, like, fucking so excited. Yeah. Um, yeah, Jeff so I did, Kaplan. Yeah. Good Jeff, man. Uh, Joe Kaplan of the Battleborn team. Joe, Joe Kaplan <laughs> of the Battleborn team. <laughs> Oh my um, god, is that Joe Kaplan from the Battleborn team? God, dude, right after that, I was like, fuck, I can just leave right now. I can leave Philadelphia right now. I got what I wanted. <laughs> I pay all his money to get a picture with fucking Jeff Kaplan. Yeah, just get Jeff Kaplan. I really, oh, dude. I, the guy I did, from the from the Overwatch updates. I really, hey, guys, it's Jeff Kaplan. Oh, dude, boy. I, I swear, like, as soon as I left, I kind of regretted it. I was like, I really wish, I really just want, hey, is Joe Kaplan from, no, <laughs> Joe, this is Jeff Kaplan from the Overwatch team. <laughs> is just watching, you know, the podcast. Oh, man, I should have got that. That would have been great. But, yeah. uh, Fucked up. Fucked up, but that's fine. I got what I wanted. <laughs> Fuck you guys. You should have told him you're, you're watching not another movie podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Make him do bumpers for everything. All right, now, now Gork. <laughs> <laughs> Something that doesn't exist anymore. Oh, man. And we should tell him, like, Oh, if we made a bumper, we should make it so that we have one that we could put any uh, podcast and, in. And it's so, Jeff Kaplan. You're watching the month of and, you, and he just says, like, <laughs> he just says nothing. And then you just add whatever he says over. Hey, guys, this is the month of gore. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, great. Yeah, Jeff like, Kaplan. I got that. The Shake I'll, My Nuts podcast. <laughs> the shake, shake My Nuts. Shake my hey, head. welcome to Shake shake My Nuts. Shake <laughs> My Nuts. Um, That was cool. Then, um... What else went on? Uh, nothing, nothing really much, game wise. Um, we'll talk more about that. But uh, anyway, that's all I want to talk about. Uh, Gort, what'd you play this week? Uh, I was the only thing I played really was Zelda Breath of the Wild to uh, Link's Awakening Part Five or what was it called? Just Link's Awakening. <laughs> uh, I never really played. I mean, I did play the original, but when I was a kid, I don't think I finished it to be honest. So it was nice to go and play. It's gorgeous. Pretty man. much a pretty much a new Zelda game, really, <laughs> to me. Because uh, I again, I, I I played it. I just don't remember much right. of it. I um, the hell and I played. I played the DS. DX version. I played yeah. the DX, um, which had the color dungeon, which this also does. Um, and uh, yeah, that, that, I mean that game is is great. Uh, it does have some problems. Uh, mainly two two major problems I have with it. One. Is that the frame rate is definitely a, yeah? Like, that, it's so weird that that's like the weird. weird game. And there's a thing I don't. I know a lot of people don't like. This is a major concern, but this is like a minor one with the frame rate. Is that they do the they do this thing where all around the borders of the the frame, uh, it it gets blurry. Like it, it like if there's something like up top. Okay, I know what you're saying. It's like kind of blurry, you know what I'm saying? And it kind of it kind of bothers my eyes sometimes. I don't know why, because everything in the f- middle is focused, but everything around it is like blurry. And as you That's move weird. towards it, it, it's a little weird. It's not too bad. I, I'm making it sound like it's way worse than it is. Um, it, it's not too bad. You get used to it. But at first, I was just like with the frame rate issues and that it was just like and everything pops. It's just like it was a weird combination, like all the colors and the fo- the the blurring and the frame rate it was just like at first I was like, Ew. um, but. Uh, my other major problem is that uh, I can already tell. I mean, I'm pretty far in, but I can tell the game is is pretty damn short. Like you, it, right. especially if you already played the original game, uh, I think it's pretty much exactly the same. Except of course it looks different. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same. And and it it's like maybe six seven hours long. Yeah, I was gonna say and, I remember DX only being like five six hours. Yeah, and it and I, I've seen playthrough. I haven't watched them, but I've seen playthroughs online where people play for the first time and beat in like six hours. And if being a sixty dollar game, that might be a little too short, considering you know like the original. I mean, it's a remake, also. It's not like a new game. 
it's a remake. It keeps the same kind of structure. Um, yeah, but well, Gore uh, has replayability. You can make your own dungeons and share them through Amiibo. I heard that that sucks, actually. I heard that. Yeah, share them through Amiibo. That's the fucking dumbest shit. Hey, does, it sound um, like, does it feel like a... Uh, or I know you, didn't, you obviously didn't play it, but did you... Uh, you think that's like a test run for a Zelda uh, dungeon maker coming up sometime in the Switch lifespan? Uh, I haven't. I, to be fair, I haven't done the dungeon thing yet. Um, but the dungeon thing seems like all it is is that you take parts of the dungeons they've already done, like from the dungeons you've already completed at that point. So like dungeon uh, level three or whatever, you take right. some of the some of the rooms and you just like put them in different places. So you're not really creating dungeons. You're just taking pieces of dungeons and compiling them together. So like, you are making a dungeon, but you're not like taking a room and then like, oh, I want to put pot here. I want to put this. I want to make a puzzle or whatever. I haven't played it yet, but that's what I've heard it is. Okay. Um, so it seems like it's very simple, but I could I guess, definitely see it being the launching pad for that, though. Yeah, because that would be really cool. Because when I first heard it, it was Dungeon Maker. I was like, oh, that's cool. You can make your own puzzles. You can put a chest here. You have to right. go over here and unlock it. Uh, obviously, if you can't solve it, then you can't upload it or whatever, just like Mario Maker. Um, but you can't even upload it anyway, so it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. That I feel like that was like a tacked on thing. The developers of this. Uh, I it's think not, and it said Sakurai just wanted that in there. It's the guys that did the yeah. That's not great. Wait, that makes sense. Uh, fucking. Uh, yeah, it makes sense. That's, yeah, it makes sense. Somebody would want that in there. Just like yeah, because Mario Maker's so big. Just have like something small in there that's like that. Um, but it's from the guys that did the Ocarina of Time, uh, 3DS uh, remake. I guess not really a remake, but it kind of was. It was a more like yeah, remake. it was remaster. I hope we get yeah. the Majora's Mask and Ocarina of 3D uh, yeah. on fucking Switch. Switch. Yeah, compile both of them together. That'd be nice. Um, I want a uh, link between worlds because I've yet to finish that. Oh, that game is phenomenal. I got like 10 hours in game. and I like, I, I don't know. It was just the 3DS. Like I love the 3DS, but there's times where I'm just like, I don't really want to play on this. <laughs> yeah. And at that time I was like, it came out at the wrong time too. It came out. Yeah, like, they went Metroid. Yeah. Me- well, Metroid actually, I got really close. I didn't finish that one either. I should say, but I got really close to that one. Link between worlds. I, I got about eight, ten hours in. I think it's like a twenty-hour game, so I, I, I still had a, a long way. But t- Samus Returns, I got super close, and it's just like I don't know. It's just the controls are a little weird for 3DS for games like uh, Metroid, at least. Um, you get used to it, but this game's fun. It, it's a lot of fun. It's one of my favorites this year. I would say, I'm not saying much because this year's been kind of weak, but good stuff. Uh, besides that, I. Play a little bit more Borderlands 3, just a little bit more. Uh, I'll probably finish that in the next week or so. I'm like 30 hours in, so I'm probably pretty close. I I don't think I played anything else, though. I think it, that was pretty much it. I, I bought uh, Sayonara Wild Hearts. I mentioned that, I mentioned that last week, and I wanted to play it, but I heard it's a better like it's an only an hour and a half, so it's a game that you should play in one sitting. Yeah. So okay. I'm I'm gonna wait. And 100%. Uh, I, we, headphones in. Yeah. If, uh, well, I'm gonna probably play on my TV. So. Um. So I want. I, I heard the visuals are really cool. So. What I would I suggest headphones in. Um, if you have a, a headset for the Switch, to play yeah, while it's docked, sure. If not, I think the I think the soundtrack is better than the visuals. Not that yeah, no, I heard. Person, but I think it'd be a better game. I thought it was. I the way I played it was headphones in, and I'm playing in my bed on handheld dark room. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Yeah. Uh, the visuals are cool, but nothing like. It's fun. Nothing to, like write home about. Like, oh my god, this game is gorgeous. Like, it, yeah, it looks good. But right, right, right. The music is all about it, so you need to be headphones in first and foremost. Right, sure. Uh, besides that, I think that's it. Cool. Uh, David, what'd you play? Fuck ton more of Yakuza Zero. He's five hundred hours in, and he's only twenty. Uh, I'm sixty hours in, and I just got to chapter seven, so oh. I'm almost at the halfway point. When I play these games, I'm not doing that. I need, I need, <laughs> to get <through> <laughs> I need to get through. There's no way in hell, like all these games coming out now, and I have to play zero. I have to play what seven games? Yeah, you have to play seven games before seven. <laughs> well, I guess you don't need to play it for seven. I, I, I I'm true. I've it's heard, its own thing. But, yeah, I've uh, heard like like you you won't get references, but you don't need to. Which make it, it's making me think maybe I should play seven first and then go back and play the other ones. I'd be like, oh. I could appreciate it more or something, but uh, anyway. game, sorry. 
Oh, uh, yeah, Mega Man. Oh yeah, you need the story for Mega Man. Yeah, you need to make you know, Dr. Wiley. Dr. Wiley. Dr. Wiley. Um, good. Anything else? Uh, I have been playing one other game, but I'm going to hold off seeing it because it goes into what I bought recently. Oh, let um, me guess. I got none. Go ahead. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, I, didn't oh. get, I, I didn't get to play as much as I wanted. I... Dude, I, I didn't sleep the night after I was at this podcast. I, I just went straight to the airport after that. I, I figured. I, I didn't pack, and I and the podcast took a little bit more edit, time to edit, and then I had to make sure it uploaded. I wanted to make sure it didn't fuck up in uploading, so I did all that. Then my time, I had like an extra hour. I was like, well, fuck it. I'm not going to go to bed. But um, So I ended up sleeping a lot on the plane. Um, I did end up uh, playing a lot of Untitled Goose Game. It's fucking a so lot? good. Yeah, I actually played a lot. Like, I've been trying to do all the objectives, so I've, I've, I can move on, okay. but I'm, not, I'm trying to 100% it. Um, it's so, it's so fucking fun. It, it's such a me game. Like, that's just, I love it. There's times where I'm just like standing there, fucking you're some fucking human, human, piss, human pushes you off and just looks at you and stares at you. Then as you raise your, your goose flaps and you just go honk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I, I can do that for hours. <laughs> it's the fucking funniest thing to me. I've seen gameplay where it's, it's just so like, it's fucking just... good. <laughs> So many times it's just the goose just like, what what the fuck are you gonna do about it? Yeah, just hands up, <laughs> honk, and they get scared. Uh I wanna oh. play it. I, I have it. I bought it's that, so, so good. It's so much fucking fun. How much is it? Uh I think 20, it's twenty, I think. Uh fifteen right now. If you have if it, if it it's a there's a launch sale. I I mean, yeah, but I think it's already been out for a couple weeks. I don't know, I don't know if that sale's still going on. But I think the normal price is twenty. I'll check right now, but uh Yeah, I well not, I can't I can't see twenty. I don't think you're going to be able to see, though, because you already bought it. All right, huh? Uh, let's see. Untitled. You, David, you check. Go get your Switch. No, it's downstairs. That's all right. I'm not going downstairs for my Switch. Go ahead. Oh. Run. Run. Run any other console? <laughs> nope. No, it's on, no. It's on uh, Switch. It's, it's 15 bucks right now still. It's fine. Is uh, it? Still? Yeah, okay. but I think up until maybe tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Oh, so you better hurry. PC. Uh, no, on PC it's, also? it's worth it. It's a fun time. I I love it. It's it's definitely the fuck around game where you're just bored and you're just fucking around. You just want to be an asshole for a little bit. Is uh, is that game on PC? I don't think so. Is it not? Really? Okay. Anyway. Untitled Goose Game. It's on the Epic Games. So. Oh yeah, Epic it game. is. It is. Yeah. Oh, isn't a John Wick game coming out soon? I bought it on Epic Game Store because it was yeah. on sale. Yeah, when's it coming out? Like sometime this month. I think soon, so. trademark. I think very soon. I actually want to try that. Right by the time this podcast is out, knowing our luck. Oh yeah, it, it's been out for like two years. Yeah. <laughs> what? Um, but yeah, I've been playing a lot of Goose Game. Started uh, Link's Awakening, but I was like not in the right setting. I was like, eh, I'd rather play on on a on a TV or at least where I can focus yeah. up a little bit more. A, a lot of like reading and tutorial stuff that I forgot about. Oh, um, that game has like the least amount of reading in any Zelda game ever. <laughs> yeah, but more than like what I needed to on a plane. Sure, yeah. Uh, in the beginning, it definitely does. But. Started started the room two on my phone because I got into the room last week. Uh, playing a little bit of that too. Just a lot I of small games. Today. The room. Yeah. Yeah, good shit. Um. Nothing else. It's been a slow week, but uh, I'll play some more this week. I think I'm gonna start Dead Space this week. Yeah, yeah um, that one. Uh, Which again, if you haven't, if you forgot or missed last week, uh, Dead Space is our games gone by for the end of this month. Which will be on Halloween. Halloween. Um, we're all gonna dress up. I'm excited to go through. We're all gonna dress up. I hope you dress up too. Don't point at me. Uh, I just hope my hair grows back out from my costume. <laughs> I'll, I'll dress up. I want to dress up as a sad uh, basement dweller. Shit. I'll fuck you up on my Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> oh God! Speaking of Thanos. All right. Thanos wore a Hawaiian shirt. Yeah. He's dead. That's him chilling before fucking. No, uh, I'm just gonna say it because I know you guys won't have any idea what the fuck it is. It's old man Henderson. Yeah, we said this last week. Yeah, that, that's because yeah. Chris. Oh, that's man. right. Yeah, no, you, you guys, yeah, you guys have no idea what the fuck that is. It's fine. All right. Speaking of, we don't know what the fuck. Uh, David, what'd you, you buy? Just, I bought a lot of shit, and I got a lot more shit. In I know. Coming. I saw you bringing it over when we were fucking doing the trivia. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, no, I've been putting games away while we were doing trivia. Uh, okay. I thought you were bringing shit over. Because uh, I finally got around to assembling my new shelf. Uh, it was... <laughs> just a giant fucking... 
<laughs> so I've been putting uh, my box games on it, and I'm going to keep that shelf that's back there for my loose collection. Uh, but I've been slowly putting that. I'm already actually out of room, so I think I'm going to have to try to make more shelves to put in there somehow. I have all the tools for it, but none of the competency for it, so it's going to be interesting. Uh, but no, uh, so for uh, hardware stuff, got a new Dreamcast controller. Because yeah. I have three Jamcast controllers aside from this one, but none of them are official. So I'm like, fuck it. I need an official one. I need that official shit. I got component cables for my original Xbox. Hell yeah, man. Component cables. Fuck yeah. Shout out. Uh, and then for digital stuff, uh, I got... Actually, no. I'll start with this next. Uh, yeah. Just because you, you guys talk about movies every so often, uh, I got the complete collection of Saga of Tanya the Evil. Whoa! What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's an isekai-style anime. Uh, the twist Ooh. of it is basically God has this hate boner for this salaryman, so he gets reincarnated into this alternate world World War One story as a girl, and he's basically just trying to conquer the equivalency of the world as world war uh, one germany all right but when you woke up what was it about <laughs> <laughs> it was about girls with big breasts that have no like weird colored hair and no they're all shy <laughs> so uh, kawaii kawaii desune that actually sounded way more interesting than fucking most anime which is just the same shit over and over again but anyway, if you uh, like history and you like magic shit uh it's great because it basically <laughs> is just world war one with magic so two of my favorite two of my favorite things <laughs> war and magic shit uh, <laughs> but yeah. by the way i just wanted to show uh yeah i can't for some reason i can't zoom in but this is a uh, david's cosplay can you see it let me see there you go that's him I just I had to look him up because I was confused. He has a shotgun. Yeah, if you ever really want to understand the origin of it, it's a very long story about a Call of Cthulhu campaign, but uh, it's really good. Anyway, uh, but yeah. So then, digital stuff. I picked up Mobile Suit Gundam Battle Operation Two because uh, that's free, and I'm like, fuck it, I love me some Gundam. Uh, then I also picked up. Uh, there was a fanatical bundle, uh, so I got X Blaze uh, Code Embryo, X Blaze Lost Memories, Creeping Terror, Aegis of Earth. Uh, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the rest of that. And Mind Zero. And then for physical games, I picked up Dragon Quest Eleven. Hell yeah! I had to cancel my order for that one. Uh, I picked up a uh, boot disc for Dreamcast. Okay. So I can make it region free. The reason why I want it to be region free is Dreamcast games that are in Japanese are dirt fucking cheap. So one of the ones I picked up was Vampire Chronicle for the matching service. Uh, quick little history about this game. It's a game where there's only 5,000 copies that were made. And you guys remember uh, Vampire Chronicles, the Chaos Tower on PSP? Is <laughs> oh, that uh, the Chaos Tower? Isn't that uh, the name of one of the um, Darkstalkers games on the PSP? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm referencing. Oh, that's the game. Oh, is that what it's called in, in fucking uh, in J- no. Japanese Vampire Chronicles? Uh, Vampire is Darkstalkers in Japan. Okay, so I didn't know for that. them, that's been Vampire. So for it us. is. So it is. That's just the PSP. But yeah. Game. Uh, the, the yes, like essentially the P, uh, the PSP game is kind of like a remake of this, and then they added in the Chaos Tower concept. But this was the original release for it, and there's only about five thousand copies floating around. Uh, so I picked that up for my collection, and then last couple games I got uh, Dynasty Warriors Gundam One on 360 uh, because I've been itching to play it again, and Spectral Force Three. I have no idea what the fuck this game is. Oh, I just yeah. saw it looked like a strategy rpg on the back and i looked it up and apparently they never released any other fucking games in this series in the u.s but for some ungodly reason they decided to release the third one over here i was like all right fuck it why not yeah I uh, so i picked it up you think they're waiting yeah. for that sale and they're like oh fuck we finally got a sale so let's put the, let's put the other ones out there now yeah not, not all the other ones are here <laughs> coming I, i'm excited i did man. it i brought i brought it the rest you to the it, west fine the rest to the west <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's everything I got. I was supposed to have more shit, but uh, mail's going slow. Slow uh, mail. Go, you want to go? Uh, no, if you want to go, go ahead. Uh, sure, I'll go really quick. 
Um, all right. Yes. Uh, digitally, yeah. I got. Let's see. I got a couple of Switch games. Um, <laughs> Mark of the Ninja. Uh, oh, yeah, Dragon like Quest. So. Cave Blazers, and the collection of Mana. That was on mm-hmm. sale. Uh, I want to get that physical. Uh, yeah. I got these in the mail the other day. Got those. Oh, oh I didn't know they went. Switch controller. I didn't oh, know yeah, they, they went on sale. They sold out immediately. Oh. I, I had to actually buy it at work. They sold out fucking like that. Um, they they might restock them. I play your cards right, Gore. Um, let's see. Oh, before I. Sh- well, yeah, when I did they up. announce they were stocking them in? They just showed up. Oh, okay. They just showed up, and I happened to follow the Reddit that someone's like, "Hey, they're up." Okay. Uh, right. I picked up Mario Kart Double Dash. I, okay. lost, I lost that in my uh, collection when I was trying to sell stuff off, and I was like, oh, I don't need GameCube games anymore, and I fucked up doing that. Uh, so I bought that back. And today I got this new... I forgot I bought this, so this is an interesting fucking thing. It's the uh, official Overwatch cookbook. Oh, uh, yeah, I saw, that. I saw that on GameStop.com. They were advertising that. Yeah, I, I forgot like, it was a what? thing, so I just got a meal from, from Amazon saying, hey, you saved money on your pre-order. I was like, what the fuck did I pre-order? Uh, this. So, um... This right here? That's why I actually keep all my pre-orders, <laughs> uh, emails to my Gmail, just so that way I can keep track of it. Oh, I, I forgot something. I forgot something. Where is it? Yo, Adrian, where's the thing? It's in your ass! Oh, okay. I found it. Thank you. What's in here? You got, oh, you got oh, Soldier 76 Buttermilk Pancakes. Oh, hell yeah, man. I want to taste the freedom. <laughs> I'm actually excited. I, I, I was I would have like canceled that pre-order if I knew, but now that I got it, I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. You gotta try what? the recipes. All right. Yeah, I'll try some of them. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Play your cards, right, Gore? Yeah, I don't care. Anyway, <laughs> I might All buy right. it actually. All right, what'd you get? I saw it at GameStop. It was like twenty-five dollars or some shit though. Yeah, but, uh, not worth it right now. But uh, GameStop everything goes on sale for two dollars later on. Well, today I got this. Uh... I got this package from somebody from Hell the yeah. podcast. Uh, I didn't open it yet. I I, have, I know you, what it you is. You want to hear in case it's fucking broken so you can show everyone. Yeah. yeah, well, I, I I know what it is, but I figured I'll open it right now. Uh, it's just that, right? There's nothing yeah. else in here. Just, right? just don't okay. show the address. I'm not showing the address. That's why I showed this side. <laughs> just... There's address there. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Why'd you put it on the bottom, too? So I, <laughs> I took this to Chris, hoping that I'd see him so I'd have to pay for delivery. Then I didn't see yeah. him, and I was like, I do not want to, I don't have room to carry this back because I bought so much shit when I was out there. So I was like, I have to go to the post office. I'm just going to ship this. And after the only box they had, I was like, all right, fuck it. Hell yeah, you went, oh, to, okay. uh, you went to the Grand I went Finals. to the Grand Finals. See, I don't even need to go. All right, bye, Xfinity. That's the sequel to The Last of Us. <laughs> 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 Overwatch oh, first of us. All right, so he sent me my, my Captain America oh, samurai yeah. guy. Nice. Oh, he looks sweet, actually. I'm looking should, at him uh, in the camera. Shake, shake it really quick. Does that sound like it's loose? Nah, nope. That sounds, good. Okay. sounds good. All right, well, I got I got a couple things I need to send to Adrian now. So I'm still waiting on that hoodie for you, and I'm pissed. Well, I'm you got so, it all already... so that means it's going to take about five months. Yeah. Which, speaking of, I, I'm still I'm waiting for something. Sick so. of fucking wish advertisements on fucking YouTube, dude. I swear to God, I get the same fucking. Oh, I was wondering why Wish is so cheap. It's because they ship straight from the manufacturer. You should go on Wish. <laughs> I fucking get that ad. I swear to God, yeah. like every fucking video. And I. Swear I don't to get God. that ad. Uh, you know what I get? I get Grammarly all the time. Um, that and yeah, I always get comments. Too. I get like I, I've gotten like five comments. On my, I made a wish video a few weeks ago, uh, and they all say like, actually, those are legit figures. Like the every time I, I, I like, I, I'm just like, I don't, I don't care. Like if they're legit figures, I don't give a fuck. Just leave me alone. Okay? Yeah, they're legitimate figures, but they're definitely not legitimate. And yeah, because they're definitely fake people trying to. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe they're legit too. No, those no. people, <laughs> those people are legit. Nah, they pay a lot of people. So uh, some of them sounded like actual like YouTubers. You know what I mean? Like YouTube people, not like uh, Derek uh, Wishman. Dunderson. <laughs> Derek Wishman. Nine I love zero four five one two. Yeah, nine zero four eight five. What the fuck was it? Oh, what was it? Um, was it Amazon? I think I saw. There was some fucking weird shit where uh, and and I was gonna show you guys. I forget if I did or not. But there was like a long trend of just 
uh, like fake Amazon profiles of just people like saying, yeah, I work for Amazon and here's my thing and here's my story. No. And like this string of like very obviously like bots or like fake people. Yeah, but mm-hmm. there was, and there were, there was the fucking most bizarre, like, it almost felt like living in some AI world for a second where you're like, what the fuck is going on? And you would oh. think almost for a second, you're like, maybe they just got paid off. And then one of the guys got caught. Um, someone took a screenshot of that guy saying his name was something completely different in the very first tweet. And someone's like, I think they're malfunctioning. <laughs> I think there's a glitch going on. It's in the Matrix. Yeah. All right, Gore, yeah. what else you got? All right, so back to the stuff I actually I picked though. These are my pick. Right, Adrian just got me that. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I didn't take out the Spider Man one though. Now I have a reason to put them together. Yeah, now that the universe again. Yeah, well, I mean, Captain America is gone, and Spider Man is is on lo- oh, so oh, almost... he's on loan. He's on loan right now, <laughs> pretty much. He's on, he's on uh, dying legs. Yeah, you're gonna be seeing your boy yeah. Tom Hardy in a little bit. Yeah, well, I mean, he's back though, supposedly. So. He's gonna, he's gonna, he, you, you saw what the quote said though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so, good before one more. Shout, movie, out, right? shout out to Tom's. No, no, no. Is that that uh, Ken Feige was specifically like? Also, he's the only superhero that we know can that can cross universes. So stay tuned for something fun. And that's yeah, like, because oh, no mean, other fucking superhero crosses universes. Fucking dumbest fucking. Uh, let's not let's not know that the. That, the Fantastic uh, Four all about like cosmic shit. Uh, yeah. they, uh, not even that. Let's let's forget that. Uh, Doctor Strange has the Multiverse of Madness movie coming out like right yeah, before that, right. but um, yeah, yeah no, that, that's obviously saying that that they're gonna try to cross them over. Like I think the the, the rule, the thing that they're thinking, I think, is that they're gonna just have Spider Man go in between the Spider Verse from Sony and, and the MCU from Disney. Yeah, I guess so, that's fine. Tom Holland's gonna get a good check though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's he's, he's in that. Uh, he's in um, isn't he in like something big coming up too? Then he just get try, cast in maybe. something. Oh, Uncharted, that was like years ago. You yeah, got cast they, on that. They, they got, uh, dang, oh, by the way. By the time you, they did, make did, the movie, he'll be the age of Nathan Drake. Did, did, so did, did you see the, the funny coincidence? Is that uh, when they the day that they lost Spider Man, they lost the. What's his name for Uncharted? Oh, the inch. oh okay. And um, the day they got Spider Man back was the day they announced that they got a new director. It was in his contract. He has got to be Nathan Drake. Who was the director for Uncharted? I don't remember, actually. Because there was like four different ones. Travis before. Knight is it now. Travis Knight, yeah. Oh, oh that's oh, oh, that's a great oh. choice. That's the guy that did Bumblebee and uh, Kubo and the Two Strings. That's a great choice. Oh yeah, fuck yeah, Kubo and the Two Strings. Uh, was oh, yeah, Bumble, Bumblebee was great. I haven't seen but, that yet. I'm hesitant still. They had to get the Kubo guy to um, fucking fix the the Transformer series. <laughs> get somebody that knows how to fucking like you know make movies, actual movies, not fucking loud noises with some visuals. Uh, you don't want car urination and racist stereotypes. I don't Dan, want low Dan Dutch angles of like girls' panties. You know, my was was the one orig- was the one. Oh, the 12, 10 Clover Lane guy. Yeah, and then uh, then uh, he dropped out. Then Travis Knight's in. Okay. They should get the guy that did the uh, Uncharted short that came out like a month. I mean, a year they ago. Just it it's not be a they should movie. just cancel it. They should just cancel it. They should just do Last of Us now because no one gives a fuck about Uncharted just anymore. Re-release right, right, the sorry. first Tomb Raider so, movie. What else you got, Gore? Okay, well, I finally got this. It, it took a long time for it to get here. I had some shipping issues, but I finally got this fucking beautiful thing right here. <laughs> it's a Torb Torb yarn. Hammer. Torb yarn. It's yarn. Right it's made right like Torb yarn. Yarn. I don't have a hook. That's how he does it. Hell yeah. That's his Halloween costume, by the way. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> I'm too tall for Torgan. And too fat, I think. But yeah, he's uh, it's pretty. No, he's no, I'm too, too fat. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's only chubby. But uh, this is really nice, actually. The paint job is really good. Um, and it's made out of foam, but it's like hard foam. So if you hit somebody with this, they're, they're going to get some injuries. So oh, yeah. watch out. Watch out. Watch out, criminals. All right, so I'm coming at you. Uh, I also, yeah, I went to Walmart the other day. I don't ever go to Walmart, but I went there because I had to pick up another lamp um, from my room. So I was like, ah, eh, fuck it. Uh, we'll look at the clearance video game stuff. And they had this brand new seal, 15 bucks. Rory McElroy's dumbass PGA Tour. Oh, yeah. Pretty rare, actually, game. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. It's like used as like a $25 game. Sealed, it's like 40 45 oh, that's, so, a good, that's a good flip. Yeah. I, I, I'm probably going to flip it, but it's a game I don't have in my Xbox One collection. Uh, so I could sell it and get it back later. Used. I will nope. say, that's the great thing about Walmart clearance areas, is you can find some weird oddities, like I, the I fucking DuckTales I got. I find a bunch of sealed 
PS2 games. Oh yeah, yeah. My my Walmart like last year still had a uh, tri- uh, triple the trilogy for uh, Grand Theft Auto Three, mm-hmm. Vice City, and San Andreas. I guess trilogy. I don't know. I wouldn't really count it as a trilogy, but whatever. Um, they still had that. But uh, yeah, like uh, people I know online have been getting like uh, what, what was the shitty Zelda game that came out on 3DS that was uh, like Tri- Triforce Heroes, right? Yeah. Is it yep. called that or is okay? That's a what's the original game called? Uh, Legend of the, or Four Sword Adventures. Four Sword. There you go. Okay. For some reason, I was confusing those. Two. Yeah, yeah, but they were like five bucks. I couldn't find that at my uh, Walmart, but found that. That was pretty good. Uh, and I got a couple of things from OfferUp. I actually got a couple of NES in-box games. Pretty cheap. I think it was like altogether like 25 bucks for these. Uh, Time Lord. There you go. I don't know. My favorite either. Guardian of the Galaxy. I got Time Lord. <laughs> My favorite Guardian of the Galaxy. Uh, Demon Sword. Oh, yeah. My favorite. I don't know. <laughs> I've never heard of these games. And Codename Viper. Hell yeah. There you go. I have no idea. <laughs> I've never heard of them either. But that's flip material because I don't care. Um, and uh, I picked up a GBA game. Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town. Nice. Hell yeah. Back to farming. That's it. Or when are you going to start <laughs> playing uh, farming simulator competitively? Uh, I, already, I already won the championship. I think you know you're lying many... to me. I am. But... Uh, I don't like that game series, so that that takes farming simulation a little too far, because that now it's just like it's literally a simulator. You know how you have all these fucking dumbass simulators like Goat Simulator. Ugh. That one's like no, it's a simulator. You have to do everything. You have to literally, or you have to plow. You have to do this, that, that. And I'm like fucking just streamline it, and maybe I'll play it. Make it fun. There's like no characters too. It's just like fucking. You're a nameless guy. There's no people around. You just. Do it. Put the fucking seeds in and put the crops in the basket. You're done. Go to bed. Keep on <laughs> farming. It's like a, like that. That's too far. I think. That's I get the. I, I, it's too far. <laughs> it's too far in the farm department. Um. Anyway, that's it. That's all I got. Damn it. What? I somehow accidentally swapped you guys around on Skype, so now you guys are looking in opposite directions of each other, and it's bothering me. Oh, whatever. Grow up. No. There we go. Now I got it so you guys are looking at each other. All right, cool. Grow up. No, I'm going I'm gonna, I'm gonna to move this way now. Fuck you, Gore. <laughs> All right. We're good. All right. Next dumbass segment. Oh, this is the trivia. Put it in here. Right here. All right. Get ready to watch Gore's amazing upset right uh, now. No, because we got... We, I, I got to knock out some of these time codes beforehand. Otherwise, I'll have to do it all later on. Now. I don't know why you do that though. Although I, because I can't. If I do the, the do if I do it naturally, I gotta keep the audio on, and it'll be desync by the end of it, for the reason that the doing it, playing it like that, does it that way. Put it in now. I, nope. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. We'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll drop. We'll drop um, ins. We'll, so, we'll drop it in. We'll drop ins. <laughs> yeah, we'll drop. We'll drop ins. We'll drop uh, ins. Right now is everyone's favorite segment, David's rant. What am uh, I complaining about now? Uh, the opposite, actually. I'm gonna have you praise something this time, but that's only because you got 30 seconds this week. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm giving you uh, one that you could talk positively about, but you're not gonna have enough time to because you're a dick. So uh, in 30 seconds, tell me why fighting games is so good. Fighting games are great because it allows for a ton of creativity. The uh, base rosters always have just enough variety and good fighting games to go ahead and allow a lot of different play styles. Uh, they have usually some of the most fantastic soundtracks. Honestly, when I think of my top favorite soundtracks, the vast majority of them are fighting games. Uh, another combination of why they're so good is just because of the creativity that goes into just the different dynamic and... and <laughs> All right, well, that was David's rant. So if you're into fighting games, I hope that 30 seconds turned you into it. <laughs> Maybe he, one day he'll get a minute. Who knows? Nah, fuck that. <laughs> oh, fuck well, that. There you go. I guess, you, I guess now you have 15 seconds. Next week. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, why did he only get 30 seconds? I forgot. Because he said fuck you. That's what you get. He's like, well, fuck that. <laughs> oh, okay. So you get, you get, you you get, get 45 seconds. Fuck that one. Now you get 30 seconds. Yeah. 
Shit. Yeah, he's at 15 seconds next week. I know exactly yes, what I'm having to talk about next week. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't gonna talk about dick. No, no. That's what you're gonna be talking about. All right. That's why you love dick so much. Time for news. Shake my nuts. Shake my nuts. <laughs> that's that's gonna be his rant next week. <laughs> All right. Uh, first up is. A uh, Nintendo PlayStation owner could be putting it up for auction. Yes, I am. Uh, Adrian and I were talking a little bit about this before the podcast because uh, Gore's a lazy fuck that doesn't understand how to schedule. Uh, and this is something that if I had real money, like I I, I live a comfortable life, uh, but I am definitely not throw the thousands that are going to be throwing at this console uh, kind of fucking privileged. And this is one of the few that is known in, I think it actually is the only known one in existence, even though reportedly there's about 200 that exists. Uh, but this is the only confirmed one out in the wild. And the guy's been going to a lot of different trade shows, showing it off. Uh, the M classic that I picked up recently, he actually went ahead and did a video uh, with them showing off the upscale features of the, you know, Sony, uh, the Nintendo PlayStation. And I would love to have this in my collection. I already have a rough idea of how much is kind of my limit, and I'm going to try to go for it. What's your limit? Uh, I'm probably looking at about a grand I'm willing to drop on this. It's going to be more than a grand. Like, I know. That? That's why I said. <laughs> I know. That's why I said. I have. I am living comfortably money. I know that this is going to go for easily probably a good three, five grand. But and even but if it's- Three or five grand, you wouldn't like compensate and just say fuck it, do it, and then just sell all their stuff and then get it back later on. I'd have to sell all the stuff ahead of time to fucking pay for it. And there's a few pieces in my collection I could get rid of, like if you know, to for some quick cash. Like uh, I have a complete in box copy. How much your house worth? Last valuation I had is about ninety one thousand. You got that easy then? No. Uh, but no, like I could sell off like my complete in box copy of uh, Panzer Dragoon on Saturn, and that goes for around five, six hundred bucks. Did you sell your Evo and stick? Oh man, could sell my Evo stick, but I don't think there's really a resale market for that. Uh, I could sell like my prototype uh, cartridge for Shin Megami Tensei uh, Devil Children Ice Would Book. Would you like? Let's say it went for three thousand. I feel like that's in your realm of like stuff that you can you can. Uh, you can make three. That'd be the pinnacle of your collection. It's literally like... That really would. That, That's... Like, like, fuck the rest of that shit. Fuck that Zebo behind you. It's like... Because you're, you're, try, those... you're trying to spend oh, how man. much on your gaming rig? Uh, I'm going to be dropping about two grand for it. Then you add the extra grand you got right there. And there you go. Well, that's where like a thousand of my money is coming from. Is I'd will I'd be willing to wait and hold off on my upgrade for my computer. Wait, I have a question. Yeah. What are we talking about? <laughs> the, the, the uh, no, Nintendo really, PlayStation. It, it, that Nintendo PlayStation, they're, they're going to probably put up for sale. The fuck are you talking about? Oh, you mean the, the one Nintendo? Yeah. Okay. All right. The one yeah, they, back they when Sony and Nintendo were partnered and they were working on creating the PlayStation together, uh, the one prototype that exists in the wild that I we know that of, trivia, uh, right? that guy. Yep. So, uh, I'm, David said... Oh, I'll I'll put a grand towards it. It's like that's gonna definitely go for more than a grand. I, I yeah, what did it go for easy. last time? Uh he got it for thirty five bucks. He got it at a uh, business auction. Let's see. Oh, you're, they already made an article about it, so I ain't gonna fucking sell for that. Uh, you got it for seventy five. Yeah, seventy five. That was it. Oh, uh, see. I knew it was something stupid low though. Seventy five dollars. I, I think it's gonna go for. Buy Chinese food and have enough for a video game. Five grand at least, I think. Oh my God, I, I, I suspect they'll probably go for a good three, five grand. Yeah, Adrian, let's send the pie. I want to get some Chinese food. <laughs> or what's your address? Just say it right now, and I will send it to your house. Uh, one four eight. Fuck me now, Street. <laughs> it's a weird. So, shit. I don't know why it's called. I, I that. asked. I so Chris. I asked David. I said, wouldn't you be willing to solve some of your collection to get to get that thing and afford it? Oh, I heard that. I just didn't know what yeah. the fuck he was talking about. I, oh, I also heard his little fucking uh, comment about be, me being late, too. But I decided not <laughs> to say anything about it. 
be the there are definitely man. some pieces of my collection that it's like if I could sell them ahead of time to get the money for it, man, I, I'd be so fucking tempted. But yeah, because I do have a few pieces of my collection that are a few hundred dollars a piece. The resale value on that thing, you can flip it immediately for like for more money. I would never. No, that that would never get. That would never leave my. I would, would sell some of my collection for that. Hundred percent. Yeah, it, well, that's what I meant. Like, if I managed to somehow get my hands on that, I would never resell that thing. That you would have to pry it from my cold, dead fucking hands. And even then, I'd want to be buried with it because fuck the rest of the world, it's mine. I'll just dig it up. Okay, I'm gonna be cremated. No, I'll dig your ashes <laughs> up. Well, fine. Well, yeah, you'll be cremated with the thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm taking it with me. Three grand. I, I would. I would place? sell a bunch of shit, but I would go for it. Yeah. Three grand. For like that, that thing? Gives a shit. Fuck Nintendo and PlayStation. Xbox, baby. Dude, that, that is Xbox, literally... Baby. You will never... You're very likely yeah. to never see another one of those again. Xbox. Is, suck it. Degeneration <laughs> X, too. I like X. That's a good letter. There we go. That thing, that thing would only gain like value in time, too. Touchdown. No receiver. There. X, baby. Three grand. X gonna Three give grand. it to you. Three grand. Three grand. All right, do? next story. What would you do if I got now, that? Now I'm just stretching. I fucking oh man. Give you a handy for it. Wow. Oh wow. <laughs> <A> Three thousand <000 laughs> handy. <laughs> From you every day for the rest of your Jesus. life. And you pay yeah. me some money. Yeah. yeah, it's like one of those like like get get money every month. I mean every week thing from the lottery or some shit. So he gives you handies. <laughs> you try, he tries to date. Oh, sorry, honey. I can't. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Wait, I have to bring my friend here. <laughs> All right. Speaking of uh, not having any money, like David. Uh, the Mario and <laughs> Luigi RPG series developers file for bankruptcy. RP and oh. Feast, pepperoni and cheese. Is it all the RPGs they made? Like all of them? Uh, all David, of them? You were putting the story in there. Tell me. Oh. All yeah, of them? it's the uh, Superstar Saga line. Uh, so uh, all the, the developers no. behind all those. Okay. Sorry, Bowser, your inside story sucked. So they, they made all of them, like even the new Superstar Saga? Yeah. That's just a remake? Wow. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. It was a neat little side game ser- uh, for the franchise, and I'm always a sucker for a good RPG, and those were always, you know, they were never phenomenal games, but they were always good. I don't know. Superstar Saga was pretty fucking good. It was good. It was I, pretty. I would, it's really I wouldn't good. call it great, but I'd it. Call was it was great. It was phenomenal. You're not you're just it. being contrarian. Shut no, your No, actually, not for that game. That was the only one of those games I played. Classic GBA game. Go check it out. Rest in peace to whatever the fuck their studio's I name never is. I played them. I always wanted to, but it was never just in my cards to play. I was like playing other shit. And well, I heard the 3DS version was not great. I heard the 3DS version was not like amazing or anything. But uh, the original GBA game is really good. RP and peace, Alpha Dream. Uh, actually, that's not true. They did Bowser Inside Story, right? I played that yeah, one. Yeah, and I think they did the Peach one as well. Super Princess Peach. I have that. Let's see who what the fuck their name is. I just I want... said... No, shut up. I want to on myself. Alpha Dream. You can just shut your fucking mouth. It doesn't even say anyway. So It doesn't even say their name on it. just says Nintendo. That's fucked up. Well, that's, that's why they died. Nobody happen. knew who they were. Yeah, they can hire them. Rest in peace, Super Princess Beach guys. <laughs> this right. game is actually extremely offensive because uh, I wanted to play fucking Mario. No, because everybody talked about how that game was like, offensive because you play it, you finally get to play as Peach and she just fucking cries and fucking uses her umbrella to hit people. I'm just like, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's just Nintendo. Is that really surprising that they'll do something stupid? I'm like, I don't know. Hey, Chris, why do they do this? <laughs> it's like, I don't know, man. They make fucking shit out of cardboard nowadays. So I don't care. It's crazy, guys, dude. We never talked about that Ring Fit game, though. I, I, okay, I, I pre-ordered it, so we'll talk about it sometime. I, I, I'm going to get it, too. Because we never talked about when they... Oh, first we're going to be so skinny, dude? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to be fucking, like... Uh, we'll be transparent. Yeah! 
We would be transparent. Oh, That's yeah, we're going to be yacked. You can't see us. We'd be like a we'll be be doodle bob. It looked kind of fun, though. Because no. Well, the Ring Fit Adventure? That, yeah. that, that game looked fun. That's why oh. I was get. That's what I was gonna get. When they first showed it, though, remember that? Did you ever see that the first video? That fucking guy. Yeah, and then and then it's just like everybody was like using this thing. Like, Whoa! And then show what the fucking game was. I was like, and then they showed oh, another trailer. That, yeah. Yeah, and then they showed a trailer like two days later with the really the really um happy guy <laughs> that was creeping me out. But um, yeah, I was like, oh, that looks pretty good. But uh, whatever. Speaking of looking good, but not Press really. Rest in peace, guys. Uh, Alpha, whatever. Pokemon Sword and Shield has some more information about it. Oh, yeah, yeah it's got a bunch of news dropped about it uh, last couple days, uh, but the one I really want to talk about is the fact that it's going to have 18 gyms in it, so one for every Pokemon type, and it's going to be divided into like a minor league and a major league, uh, which I think definitely shows that this is going to be a much longer game, which is fucking going to be nice to see. Um, they've also talked about how they're going to have the ability to change the nature of the Pokemon manually in some capacity, which is good for competitive. Uh, a few other little minor things, but shut up, Gore. <laughs> I'm sorry. Next story. Coma. Uh, I don't. I. Pokey coma. I'm, sure, I'm for sure going to skip on Pokemon this year. This yeah. is going to be the last one I get. <laughs> That's what everyone says. You sound like me with Call of Duty. It's the last one, I swear. No, the only reason why I'm getting this one is because I have a bunch of people hey guys, I know that are here doing it. So. Day of boxing. Oh, boxing. <laughs> Call of Duty, been excited for this one. <laughs> Against my better judgment. <laughs> All right. Next story oh, is uh, the uh, May trailer revealed its CEO, CEO Taku. Yep. Axel Lonex character trailer. Talk about okay. Fucking, this trailer was great. Uh, it mirrored a lot of what kind of they did with uh, Exerd for May. I fucking love her new design. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, just love that goddamn hat. Uh, and then from there, uh, a lot of her moves look just the animation in fucking Guilty Gear 2020 is absolutely gorgeous. It, everything about this game just is looking amazing. I want the full version of that goddamn fucking song now. And I like what they did with a lot of her moves. Uh, they kind of went with more larger sea creatures this time around, which will give her more hurt box, uh, hitbox space, which is great, because that was definitely one thing she was kind of lacking in. Uh, and it definitely looks like the revamp to her style is absolutely welcome. And they baited Angie Moto hard by showing off uh, Butterfly at the end of the trailer, because uh, that's a common kind of creature associated with him. Uh, but it ended up being Axel Lowe, who seems to now be in full control of his time powers, which is really fucking sweet. Uh, so it would be really curious to see. Uh, I'm still waiting for my fucking boy Faust, though. Uh, still hoping that Melia gets in there and uh, Zappa. I'd love her to Zappa to return. Uh, but man, everything they've been showing off with this game has been fantastic so far. I can't wait for this game. Oh yeah. Hell yeah, man. All right, next story. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> it, no, it, it looks cool. Um, I, I never I played Guilty trailer, Gear, but... though, so... Uh, you better fucking pick the, up 2020. I played the uh, one that was on... The first one that came to PS4. And, like, a story mode. And, uh, the well, original x -Third. Yeah, I played it, kind of. We played a little bit of it. Me and a couple other people were at my house. We played a little bit of it, and then we watched the entire... They had, like, a story mode, but yeah. you could just watch it. You didn't need to play it. And we just watched it. And we, uh, we were like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. The, the Guilty Gear storyline is a very dense motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> just because of the fact that every single game that's been released is in canonical order. And the re-releases that they do also continue the story. So like for Exerd, they did Rev uh, after that which continued the story after Exert, and then Rev 2 came out, which continued the story after uh, Rev. And they also did that for, like, the XX, uh, the Accent Core, Accent Core Plus, XR. Uh, I don't think Plus R added anything different. Uh, but all of those went ahead and kept continuing on different bits of the story. And even, like, this, this is how fucked the Guilty Gear storyline is. There is a pachinko game that is part of the canonical story of fucking Guilty Gear. Of course. 
it, it's just there's so so much to the lore. It's one of the most absolutely batshit and stained storylines. I fucking love it to no end. Uh, but it's definitely a nightmare for anyone that actually cares about you know the lore in their fighting games uh, to come into blind. If you know 2020 is going to be your first game, it's going to be a freaking nightmare getting into it. Especially when you're like, oh cool, you know what's what's this May character? Oh, she was a fucking sea, you know, an air pirate. Oh, but she's also Japanese, which means she's got weird inherited spiritual powers, and she may be turning into a gear, and she may be a master of key energy. Is what the guilty? fuck does any of that mean? Uh, she is not. Guilty. Soul bad guy is the titular guilty year. No, but they guilty. <laughs> Adrian was like making a joke, but what, the joke is actually a thing in the lore. Yeah, no, that's actually where the name comes from. Yeah. Soul bad guy is the guilty year. Soul bad. His no, name I, is I, Soul I bad guy. guy. Doesn't he gear. sound guilty? Are they guilty? Oh, they're guilty. They're guilty. But yeah, Soul Bad Guy is the name of the main protagonist. Soul He's Bad Guy, that sounds like the least guilty person I've ever heard. Is she as guilty as that one well, that, that shot the fucking person in Dallas? Because I hope so. We need justice. Justice for whoever the fuck he's talking about. Well, justice is one of the main gears in the game. So. Oh, there you go. Next story. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Next Jesus. story. Uh, I don't know what the fighter, fuck you're talking about. A fighter about. That, that Gore knows. Terminator showed up. In trailer form. <laughs> Terminator. Terminator showed up. Dude, Terminator. The, fuck, the fucking fire? Yeah. Yeah. All right. People were co- were giving me shit because I thought, because I don't, because I'm stupid. Uh, I thought it was just like whenever he no, goes on fire, he just, he loses his skin and then he just becomes the the skeleton. Uh, but supposedly that's just a trans transition to like, I guess if he dies, he gets revived or whatever. He comes back. Yep. I just thought because Scorpion burns him, I thought like if he gets burned, he'll lose his that skin. A, that was a transition, and they knew what they were doing. Yeah, yeah I, but he was burning him just like in the movie. So I thought that they were just doing something cute there, like oh yeah, there you go. Uh, if you burn him, you'll lose his skin. Just like it, it might not happen with many characters because I don't think a lot of characters can burn. But um, I thought it was a cool little thing. Uh, but that, that trailer was sick, so good. I will say though, the impersonator is a little uh, a little odd. It doesn't exactly sound like Arnold, uh, especially the first time he talks. He's just like, yeah. "Oh, you're a cyborg too." <laughs> it's like it's a little bad, but then later on, he says, uh, "Get over here," and I was like, "That's not like Arnold." He kind of nailed that. Uh, that's only two times he talks, though, so I can't really critique any other times. But um, yeah, that, that trailer was great. His move set looks awesome. Uh, the way he moves, the way he looks, looks exactly like uh, how. Schwarzenegger plays him, uh, especially in the later movies like Genesis. You know he's older now, so it makes sense. Um, yeah, I think they nailed it for the most part. Again, I'm not like big into fighting games, but I I'm, I love Terminator. So just looking at him here, I'm just like, he just he looks great. He fits. I mean, I, I never thought Terminator wouldn't fit, but are they gonna add? Of all the characters they're announcing besides Spawn, I'm like, he's like the one that makes I, sense. I just want them to announce Goose for Mortal Kombat uh, from the Untitled Goose Game. Honks. The untitled goose. <laughs> It'd be weird trying to kill him like as certain characters that have to do like, you know, they have to do certain animations. <laughs> they have to like crouch down now to fucking get this goose. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's why they can't have like two low, short He's throw immune. He, he's yeah. just immediately just top tier. It's like Yoda for Soul Calibur Four. <laughs> it's just like you can't fucking hit him <laughs> unless he just do kicks. Like, oh man. I had 360, so I had to deal with fucking Yoda's dumbass. Alright. Anyway. Um, nobody yeah, else cool. wants to say anything. Terminator looked great. And he's coming next week if you got the battle pass or whatever the fuck it's called. The yeah, Fighter and pack. then uh, in addition, they also uh, finally revealed that they're doing third variations for all the fighters. Yes. Uh, which yes, is definitely like a, something that is fucking long overdue. The game should have had three variations to begin with. Yeah. Uh, and honestly, I still feel very strongly that they should just up make a fucking system to go ahead and allow people to bring in custom uh, loadouts, especially where in the marketing for this game, it was such a heavily touted feature. And to see that competitive has no fucking access to it is heartbreaking. You go ahead, you massively tout this big thing, how much it's going to change and uh, modify the fluidity of gameplay and competitive can't touch it. it. It kills me still that they fucking went that direction um but 
at least we get another variation. I imagine that for competitive, uh, a lot of players will be happy about that. They'll get a lot more variety going. Uh, the one thing that I saw that I was excited about is um, Shang Thong. Shang Songs. Shang Thong. Uh, <laughs> Shang Thong. Shang Thong. Shang Thong. Shang Thong. 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 No, uh, Shang Songs. Third variation is all the ninja moves. So everything that everyone was like, why the fuck does he not have this that is literally the point of his character he actually gets to have all those variations as part of his third variation now which is good uh but yeah all in all uh i'm glad to see that that will revitalize competitive a bit uh but i still don't fucking care i have 40 hours in that game and i've played maybe two hours of it you have 40 hours in it but you only played two because the rest of it was me letting the ai run through tower to unlock shit Uh, (laughs) i did a little bit of that too (laughs) <laughs> uh, that's a great game i don't give a fuck hey, you know it's to be okay. honest, that's also probably the not the best looking game but one of the best looking games this year like uh, on xbox one x hdr that game looks fucking gorgeous looks so good hype it's great uh that's really good. fun i mean i'm not i'm not a competitive fucking jackass like you so i just like to play games um no offense but fuck yeah, you go ahead yeah, mute yourself go go take your vape <laughs> But anyway, I uh, I thought I, I thought it looked cool. It just the Terminator. And I, I'm glad the variation, all that shit's getting fixed. That's cool. It took a little too long, but uh, I'm glad so, certain things are getting fixed. I do think the custom loadout stuff is annoying because uh, I've I've seen people that I watch play games. Just you know, I want to watch them play, and they they keep talking about like it just sucks that we have to set up our own like custom thing every time we like meet up or whatever. Uh, Hell yeah. Uh, but anyway, also they showed like the, the a couple new skins at the end of this trailer. You got Cassie looking like Harley Quinn. Uh, you got Kano looking like Cyborg from Teen Titans. Um, who was the other one? If somebody, else. Oh, uh, Johnny Cage. Uh, I don't know. He just has a tuxedo. I don't. I think it's supposed to be him, like at a, like a movie premiere or whatever. Yeah. Because he's a movie star. I don't know, it's cool. Anyway, and they showed a little bit of Harley Quinn. I mean, Cassie has Harley Quinn like gameplay. It, it looks really good actually. But anyway, that's it. Terminator. Awesome T one T eight hundred. Sorry T one thousand. Next time, I don't know how the fuck they're gonna make that work. Though. <laughs> Liquid metal is not gonna really work well. But there you go. That's it. Cool. Next is uh, Sindel, I think. And then after that is Joker, and then Spawn, which kind of sucks because yeah. I want Spawn next. <laughs> but Spawn. I guess Joker. I'm surprised Joker didn't come out now. But I guess. It's a different type of Joker than the movie Joker. So. Yeah, I probably just still felt like it would have been good to kind of capitalize on. Yeah, but I guess they're also capitalizing with the Terminator movie. So yeah, everything's got Terminator. In Everything, now. fucking Ghost Recon, this Gears. Uh, there's a Terminator game. Of course, there's a movie. It's like for the next couple months, it's gonna be fucking Terminator everywhere. Which I'm okay with that. Month of Terminator. As... You know, it'd be great if all, all the Terminator stuff is really good except the movie. <laughs> Like I said, the movie sucks, but hey, he's cool in Gears, he's cool in Mortal Kombat, he's cool in Ghost Recon. Even that shitty game that came out is actually pretty good. I don't know why I call it Are you ever going to play Horde Mode together in that, or can I uninstall that game? Horde Mode? We'll probably play competitive. Oh, yeah, I I know Adrian likes Horde Mode. Yeah, for Gears. Yeah, it's fun. next story. You don't need to uninstall it. You never play your Xbox anyway. Why why did you even? Because I have a lot of games, and I got no little room. No little room. But you don't play Xbox, so who gives a fuck? I just leave it installed. I play it occasionally. Whatever. Speaking of Xbox, uh, the Nether is getting updated to Minecraft for the first time. Oh my god! The Nether? Nether. I guess that's never been updated. So, cool. Next uh, oh. story. Anyway, <laughs> no, uh, I know what the Nether is. Isn't that like the Underworld or some shit? Isn't yeah. that where the, the end is? Yeah. Uh, but I guess there's always that three. never came to Xbox. No, 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 it's no, been no, on no, Xbox did, for like did, seven it years. It's been out, what but the they're actually updating it. Saying. Um, oh, they're updating it. Okay. Yeah, so they actually. I thought you said they updating Minecraft to add the Nether. Oh no, like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, um, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I guess there's always been issues with it. With that, that specifically, a notch was was stubborn about having. They're finally trying to get rid of where, like, I guess another like there'd be like a chance where if you're just mining, that just lava would be there. Like a random chance, they're they're clearing out that stuff, uh, okay. making it e- more easier to see down there because that place is like a bomb inducing nightmare, mm-hmm. um, stuff like that. But it's cool. Everyone got hyped about that. Good for them. Good for them. Hey, good for, them. Pro- good for you. Good oh, for you. Good for you. 
It's been uh, 10 years since that happened. Actually, more. I think it was 2008 that that happened. Speaking, speaking of, of Terminator, that was for the Terminator Salvation movie. Speaking of stuff that hasn't happened. Oh, good for you. Actually, can I interrupt real quick? Yeah, go for before it. You, uh, can we add something else to the to the thing that we, we could talk about? Uh, what is it? Uh, I saw the new Doom movie. I know it's a movie, but it's based on a game. So, and I think we're going to be talking about Joker for most of the time on uh, not on our movie podcast anyway. So, I wanted to mention it. Okay. Later so, on. We don't need to do it now. We can do it later. No, I'll do it right now. I'm not in the mood. All right, write it down. <laughs> Fuck. No, I'm not later in the podcast. I don't mean like. Right, no, talk right about now. it now. I don't feel like it now. See how now. now I'm all. See now I'm all like uh, I'm all calm and shit. I need to get I get I need to get angry. All right, well, all right. Fuck I you. watched. Shut the fuck up. There I you watched, go. You're angry now. I watched it last night. Perfect time. It was like three o'clock in the morning. I was tired. Didn't give a fuck. Didn't want to watch it. So it was the perfect time to watch it. Um, I did a reaction for it too because I, I was just and like, you know what, fuck it. Yeah, that's what I was like. Next, <laughs> uh, Undertale thing going up. Uh, I'm gonna make that a weekly thing. Oh, cool. So. I'm, I might, I don't know, I might put it. It's only, I think, six up. Uh, I got people that you're playing it in real time. So, like, man, I hope you don't do voices anymore. And you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it. <laughs> oh, I hope he doesn't kill any more characters. Yeah. <laughs> First time playing. I'll put that in the title so people know. I, it was pretty positive, though. I, didn't, I don't even think I had, like, one dislike. Surprised. I know because I'm Undertale people I know are fucking crazy. So yeah, but they like watching like, their You don't play it the way I want you to play it. Fuck you. Huh? I feel like you should probably squeeze the reactions pretty good because uh, you're good using those. For what? Undertale reactions. Yeah, I mean it's a little, it's a little old, right? So I should put reaction in the title. Is that what you? Is uh, Undertale that what you play through reaction. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I put that. Sure. That video. Anyway, that video. Found it. You found a video. Good for there you, you man. Go. Anyway, refresh Doom. What? Refresh your video. What? For... I don't have refresh and shit. I don't you now have a fuck. down vote. <laughs> what? <laughs> refresh like I had it on a tab. Here, like, here, there you go, Gore. You got your first down vote on that video. Uh, at least I fucking make videos. All right. So, all right. Shut up. Because now you're getting no. me angry. All right. I, Doom Annihilation came out. It's based on the Doom games, obviously. The thing he didn't get during the trivia, spoiler. It, it hasn't happened yet. Um, he's, he didn't get that one. <laughs> so, <laughs> take minor victory. Um, I wasn't excited at all for it because I it, way back, like a few months ago, they showed a fucking mini teaser for it and it looked like dog shit. It looked like the biggest like YouTube red fucking movie I've ever seen in my life. Uh, and since then, they haven't fucking marketed it at all. It was like, hey, it's coming out October 1st. Yeah, here's another 30 second teaser. I mean, we don't give a fuck. Um, and it's out today or yesterday, I guess. Uh, I watched it yesterday and it was fucking, it was extremely cheap looking. It was the same shit as the last Doom movie, except this time they actually called them demons or as the, as they say in the movie, demons. Um, and it was bland. Aliens kind of light. It was like Aliens Light. I'm talking about like the movie Aliens. It's just like a bunch of space marines go into a place and it's closed off and they have to survive from hordes of fucking demons. Um, and it was about as bland as the last the last Doom movie. But the last Doom movie had like it had charm to it that I I, I really like that movie. Not right. because it's good, but it's it's bad. But I enjoy that movie. This one, I don't know. This is like it's flat looking. The cinematography is whatever. The special effects are fucking either okay considering what it is. It's a straight to DVD video game movie or fucking like embarrassing. Uh, and there's like a couple moments where like the green screen, like just the green screen itself. Like there's a character that's supposed to be in in, in a in another world. It's hell. But um, it's fucking bad look it, like it's like she's like supposed to be jumping out of like uh this world or whatever it makes sense if you see a movie uh and it's just like fucking like it's so bad looking the green screen it's like it was like, it, and let me just say all the stuff you want to see in a doom movie all the hell stuff you want to see all the 
the imps and hell knights and all this shit. Uh, you get a little bit of that throughout the movie. Most of the time, you see the zombified humans. That's really it. Uh, you get a couple of the uh, imps, which look terrible. Um, to be fair, they are practical effects, so I give them credit there. They made it. It's just makeup. But they look pretty bad. Uh, but the, all the stuff you want to see, you want to see hell. You want to see all these cool demons. You want to see some action. You want to see the BFG. It's all in the last 10 minutes. And it's barely, barely worth it. <laughs> At the end, it's How like... How long is it? It's like No, it's like 95 minutes. It's a full-length movie. Um, it's longer than Rambo. I feel like was. a Doom short would be cool. I've been saying that for fucking years. I want to see the guy. I've said this for years. I want to see the guy that did Hardcore Henry do a, a either a full length movie. I think he could do it, uh, or a, a short. I think a short. I, and all this is, this Doom guy vision. I I even I don't even know if I'd go with that. I'd say just go go know. easier with it. I'd say make it like and you could copy and shit. You copy this place with fucking Halo too. Is uh. Make it from the point of people like like all hunkered down, like oh we're getting killed, and you see like a bunch of the bullshit, like you see a fucking Doom guy, like, you see just fucking shit right. exploding up there, and yeah, and then you see, uh, like, Halo the, forward onto Dawn did that. Is that what it was? Yeah, yeah. I think that's where like, you see Master Chief just like fuck up a couple of uh hunters and stuff. Yeah, I I think I think putting in 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 uh POV would be good, really good too, just like have all the actual like the HUD bars and everything up there. Yeah, uh, you no, know, not, not even that. Just the POV, maybe see through his visor. Yeah, you know, so you just, the, but but isn't that? But no, no HUD. I just mean like you see it through his like visor. Is it not like that for no, uh? Hardcore Henry? Is no. not that, no? Is that is it not like that kinetically for uh Doom guy? Yeah, it, it is, but you don't need that. I don't think you really I need that. Kind of, uh, no, that. I think that'd be a little distracting. It, it, like Hardcore Henry did it perfectly, where it was just like not that it's a video game or anything. But I see. I think, the way I'm thinking of it is I'm thinking of like Halo Reach, you know, where it's like. If you yeah, get, I get fucked up, you know, you'll see like some of the yeah, HUD like even like, now and cracks in there and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's that's cool, but I don't even mean HUD like you'll see his health or some shit in a mini map or whatever. Um, which that a is map. a thing that is that's a thing that's in the Doom universe. Like you actually put it on and it does show you like this is where your objective is or whatever, and here's a, a couple other things or whatever. I just you know I I want it whatever they can do. I want a first person. Is Doom, Doom guy movie. not in that movie? No, he's not in either of them. Like they don't put him in. They, you don't even see the suit at any point. There's no. There's a few Easter eggs in this, and when I say Easter eggs, I mean like they they might as well look at the camera and go, John Carmack. And literally, someone says like this guy's name is John Carmack. It's just like a dead person. I'm like, fuck. it's like I mean I I appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. There's a bunch of other Easter eggs, so that's just one of them. There's one that's even a reference to Wolfenstein. I was just like, all right, it's like all right, cool, I guess. It, it it was not terrible, but it was just bland. I wish it was terrible, because then I'd be like, hey, it was fucking awful, bro. I hated it, but I Dude, loved it. it, it I wish they were in the movie. They're like, man, this this is eternal. This is a, oh, this doom is eternal. <laughs> and then they looked at the camera and said, out November 22nd. I'm like, what are they talking about? <laughs> uh, but yeah, doom uh, annihilation is a... Uh, it's bland. Good shit. It's, it's, Good shit. It reminds me of like like back in like the 2008, 2009, maybe 10 era where they you had all, all these like bullshit movies. Yeah, those bullshit video game movies that went straight to DVD. Like they had the Dead or Alive movie and Tekken. You know, I will say I, I actually kind of like them. the Tekken movie. It wasn't great. I watched it. It but... was like rated R too, which was kind of cool. That was the only thing I thought was cool about it. I was like, whoa, it's like and getting fucked up in this. And you know what? Considering what Dead or Alive is as a franchise, the Dead or Alive movie wasn't bad. That one was PG-13, which was weird. <laughs> like, you know, they should have swapped the ratings. Like, I think Dead or Alive should have been rated R and Tekken should have been PG-13. But yeah, no, I didn't hate those. I had a good time with both of them. Just like I had a good time with Doom. I have a good time with a lot of video game movies. I, I hate to admit that because a, a lot of them are fucking awful. Well, that's the problem is the bar is so low that it's like anytime you get something that it's like, I mean, yeah, it's kind of in the spirit of what, you know, it's being based after. It's like, yeah, fuck it. It's serviceable. And I'll give this movie credit. There are times where the main character, who's a female, so whatever, that's fine. Uh, I want Doom Gal, though. Even Doom Gal. I'll take Doom Gal. I don't give a fuck. I just want the, I want to see the suit. I mean, that's pretty much it. That's what the character is, that suit. Um, but the problem is, is that, like, she's cool and she does cool things. In this, like, she kills a dude while sliding across the ground or whatever. She does cool action movie things, but it's, like, generic action movie shit. doesn't feel like Doom. There's a couple of moments where it's just like, oh, it's almost like Doom. Like, the last ten minutes, there's a couple of cool scenes. There's one where, it, like, 
there's a shot where they kind of replicate the the box art of the original Doom, where like he's being grabbed. Kind of, not exactly, but you could tell that's what they're going for. Um, and it, it was cool, but it was just cool. I mean, Doom is not a series where I I feel like like it like, shouldn't be this hard to make a fucking movie about it. Yeah, they like of all so fucking far. games, Doom mm-hmm. is about one thing. Take giant fucking guns, fuck up demons. It yeah. should not be this hard to make a fucking good movie out of it. Hell, even if they even want to re like do a movie based on Doom Three, I think that would be a good idea. Like he's not he's not like invulnerable feeling like Doom guy is nowadays, especially in that last one. Um, but it, it still felt like Doom. Like there's still like there's demons everywhere. You're Doom guy. Gotta go save people if you want. And mainly you're just saving the world, like the galaxy, I guess. But uh, I don't know. This one just feels like we're on a space station. Everybody's getting picked out. It just feels like a generic horror movie. It's just like aliens, like I said. Like everybody keeps getting picked off. Um, and I mean, there's some nice blood of, and gore, I guess. I'll give it that. You know, you see some guts, you see some decapitations. I don't know. Some really bad after effects, though. <laughs> like whenever yeah, yeah. A, a Hell Knight shows not- up and, I don't know. Aaron, go ahead. It, it should not be this hard to make a fucking Doom movie. It really yeah. shouldn't. I do want to give him credit because you can feel the movie was like super fucking cheap. Like it, it was probably like a couple million dollars to make this. And I feel bad because there's no way with that budget they were going to be able to do what I want and everybody else wants. Uh, well, I guess they could, but it look like shit. Like look really bad. Um I don't know. I, I, I do. I, w- I would rather have a 30 minute movie where doom guy kills a few demons, like not even a ton of demons, just like a few, like, a, Oh, he gets into a room with like, I don't know, a fucking, uh, a pinky or just a demon. Uh, and I don't know, a hell night. Oh, he has to fight these two. And it's like a 10 minute action scene. That's fine. And then the rest is whatever, you know, he fights a cyber demon at the end. That'd be dope. But you don't get any of that. You get like one demon at the end. You get an imps and hell knights. I think oh, you get yeah. hell knights. I can't tell if they, these are supposed to be hell knights in the movie. Um, but like because they look completely different than they do in the video game, which is another thing that's kind of annoying because uh, the designs don't even look like Doom. They just look like I don't know, just look like fucking regular ass like random demons you see in the Conjuring movies or some shit. I don't know. Anyway, it's 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 whatever. It's like a four out of ten. It's not terrible. But it's below average, and uh, they tried, I guess, with the budget they had. I don't know. Maybe the budget was big. I, I I don't know, but I doubt it, considering how fucking there was, like, no marketing for it. And it's just like, eh, it's out on DVD, whatever. It's not even on Netflix. Netflix didn't even want it. They said, no, oh, fuck that. Put it on Blu-ray. <laughs> I don't want that shit. Uh, anyway, there you go. Doom Annihilation. Uh, it was a... Uh... Poo-poo. But that, Doom is coming out soon. The actual Doom. Hype for that. Real Doom. Real uh, that real Doom shit. Oh, by the way, there's another Easter egg that really annoyed me. <laughs> One guy just randomly yells because he's like killing demons. He's just like, "Yeah, that's right. I'm the Ultra Nightmare." I'm like, "Fuck you." <laughs> it's like because that's one of the difficulties in Doom. I'm like, "Fuck you." You're just like trying too hard. I, I laughed at it, but it's like thinking about it, I'm just like they just crammed all these references in without actually making a good movie. But whatever. Anyway, good. That's dumb. Anyway, when, what's the next? The only ones that are watching that are the fans. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Let's make it. Is, uh, there's no multiplayer in Last of Us Part 2. Oh, yeah. That's upsetting. Um, From what upsetting setting is fine. Uh, Just focus fuck. on the fucking story and that, call it a day. That's fine, too, but I mean, multiplayer in Last of Us is still, and I will stand by it, is still PlayStation's best multiplayer game they have on there. Yeah. I don't think they made a better Not one hard to in the whole PS4 lifespan. Uh, exclusively, I should say. I yeah, it's a better one. Uh, Last of Us is surprisingly like good. I didn't think it would be. I went and I was yeah, like, oh, it seems like a fuck around. Because that, that was also in the time where everyone had their own fucking dumbass uh, multiplayer mode in every game. Spec Ops yep. had one. Dead Space 2, Bioshock 2. Yep. Um, what else? There's other games, but... Condemned. C- Condemned was actually really good. <laughs> Did you ever uh, play Condemned 2 multiplayer? It's really good. I played one match that scared the fucking shit out of me because I. It's I, good, man. I no, cause all I did was start. Like, all right, what do I do? I think I think I, I was like I thought I spawned the wrong way. Is it turn around? I spawned around. I turn around. Literally face to face me is someone in a pig mask. <laughs> so yeah, I was like, yeah. whoa, whoa, Jesus, fuck. Well, there's a lot of that in that multiplayer. Is that like it's all about like the criminals hunting down 
they, you're hunting down each other and stuff. So there's gonna be a lot of times where we just pop out of the dark and shit. It was really good. Condemned too. I, I highly recommend it. Anyway, uh, but Last of Us Two. I mean, Last of Us One. I'm sorry. Last of Us One multiplayer was really fucking good. We it was that so not good. Long ago either. Like no, it still ago. holds up. Uh, yeah, really good. Still, still very fun. Um, I'm saying that's not gonna come back. The way they phrase it, they said that uh, that faction, they love faction, they will come back somehow. Some it way. will come back. Maybe, yeah. maybe in a, a, maybe they'll update it sometime. Uh, maybe it'll have its own little thing. I don't know. Um, I Open really hope it comes back somehow. I, I'll even pay twenty dollars download it to some multiplayer thing of that. Like, easy, I'll do that. Um, but at least this is the positive thing for me. At least. I don't have to buy PS Plus now, so there you go, because I don't have it. And uh, there's no that was the only time I would be like I need to get PS Plus because I want to play online. No I online. Sure, I would have sure put some time in that. I would have did, I would have too, but I have to look at the there's a silver lining there. <laughs> so that's it. And I guess the other silver lining is now you don't have to worry about like oh man I should really stop playing this and play some multiplayer because I really want to. It's not there. Don't worry about it. just play this fucking single player. It'll Idiot. Be, it'll also be phenomenal, but it, it's a little bit of a bummer. But you know what's not oh, yeah. a bummer? Segue yeah. into what game does have multiplayer now. Super Mario Maker 2. Yeah. Well, they yeah. already had multiplayer, but now you can play with friends. Because they already had the multiplayer, right? You just yeah, play yeah. with gonna, fucking Randy's, though, right? I'm going to make the uh, title. Super Mario Maker 2 has better multiplayer now. Has better multiplayer. Yeah. That's better. Has uh, thank God. Better. This is the fucking update. It should have been there from fucking day one. I don't know why. No shit. That was not mm-hmm. there. Uh, I think I don't you, know why it took watch, four months. Almost. If you watch our reaction to us doing it, literally the the one thing that make that we all freak out at and all get excited for was there's one player like yeah, well that's gonna be so much fun to play with the boys, have some fun. It's yeah. Mario Maker. Oh, it's not there. It's because uh, leaderboards aren't working with the other. It's like fuck it. fuck leaderboards. I'd ra- I'd much rather play with friends over leaderboards. That's, that's what made me cancel my pre-order for the game. Now that it has it, I'll probably look into picking it up at some point for all of us to play. Yeah, I'm down. Let's go. I haven't really played it too much, so it'd be cool to go back because I, I, I don't really build. So. There's there's updates too with building and stuff, and that's cool. Uh, yeah. Chris never be on a level. Oh yeah, well I only try to. You try to about at, 10 at minutes, the end, like, and you were like yeah. tired. It was like five o'clock Fuck in the morning. That. Stupid ass fucking level. You're, you're gonna do more shit. too. You never did. And uh, I didn't. I got really annoyed. <laughs> All the ones <laughs> I played, it, I really it, like. After like an hour, yeah, I was like, like, man, why can't anyone just make? Fun levels. Like, what, Everything has to be like be fucking hard. Like, oh, look at 21% me. Percent completion. Yeah, everybody's really fun. fucking proud of you. <laughs> Pieces of shit. <laughs> yeah, everyone's real fucking proud of you. You made yeah. a fucking level where you have to press the A button as quick as possible and shit. Not the A button, the B button, but whatever. I, I remember uh, yeah, like Chris was loading up mine, which I named Easy Peasy. He's like, oh, look, this one should be easy, right? Dies a second later. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking! I think there was a couple of them that were like, "Oh, no, not not too bad or whatever." Like they had like titles like that. I'm just like, "You fucking cocks, <laughs> all of you." Uh, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I, mean, I'm a, I'm a, I'm I still have those sure. downloaded, so maybe I'll play them in the future. Yeah. But ain't gonna uh, so, next story is uh, PS Now cuts its price in half. Wow. Yeah, and that's a permanent. It's now cut in half, from a, what I understand. How it's much was it before? Twenty bucks a month. That's ten. No, that's ten. Oh, well, what do you get? It's basically uh, kind of like their uh, Xbox I know it is. game thing. Yeah, I know, but it's like, wait, is, what's like good? the big game in there? They got they got some big games in there. Uh, let me look at the list really quick. Last of Us. I guess that's PS Plus also. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. Let's see PS Now game list. I bet. I bet. Let me guess. Because uh, there's PS3 games in there, right? Yes. Uh, Killzone 3. That's going to be in there. Killzone 2. GTA 5 is up there. GTA 5? Okay, only that's until, pretty good. Only until January. It would be great if it's GTA 5. Oh, what the hell? I would just the, a lot just of these the PS3 are, version. A lot of these already have a shelf date on them. Like, I'm looking. GTA 5, God of War, Uncharted 4, Infamous Second Center. Only there till January 2nd, 2020. Wait, the new God of War? Yep. Oh, that's cool. All right. That's actually have a shelf life though. Why why would they have a shelf life on their own first party games? Uh, uh maybe so that way they can re-release them on PS5 and make more money. Well, God of War makes sense cuz God of War is uh actually no, doesn't. never mind. <laughs> no, I was going to say because they they want to re-release it right now as a, one of those greatest hits things, but I don't know. 
And I got, I'm assuming they they like they like those to sell, but if it's on PS Now, then fuck it. Yeah, Xbox doesn't care though. I guess we got spoiled by that side, but I, yeah, Xbox doesn't have Korea sets, mainly because they don't it's a good game have Korea sets. I guess. Yeah. Like, why, yeah why, I, no, why, why get a Korea hit and you can pay a dollar and play your game? That's not true. Xbox had platinum hits. That's right. Oh yeah. I was just thinking like you know I love those covers too. That that was yeah, like the, the least one. egregious of 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 the Korea hits covers. I always felt like those were always fucking gross. Like, yeah. he keeps at that gross yellow bar, bar there. Oh, yeah, I hate the yellow ones. Um, what was it? Uh, it red, it's red for PS2. Yeah, and then they had yeah. a little tag that said Greatest Hits on the bottom of it. Yeah, what did, what did, what did we do? We did, uh, they did, uh, no, not Greatest Hits. Um, they did Something Hits. Nintendo Good, Classics? Good. Nintendo Selects, I think it so was. Nintendo Selects? Yeah, there you go, you're right. There you go. It was Nintendo Selects. What did the box look like, though? I'm trying to look. Um, I don't no, remember. I think it looked the same, except it had like a little thing on it. Didn't it, it have like a little a circle border. thing. Yeah, it was like a badge. Oh, it had oh, a red yeah. border. Yeah, red yeah, border. I thought it had like a little badge thing that said like fucking. Yeah, but it had a red border on there too. It had a red so border. I like the, the box art was slimmed down and. Yeah. And, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. I have um, I have I think uh, was it Pikmin? I think. I I always thought like the that. Xbox one looked cleaner just because it was like platinum hits and the cover was like silver and it made sense. Right. But I don't want to show it, but I don't at the moment. Yeah, no, I, I know you're talking about. I have the two platinum hits, but uh, I think my one of my Halo. I have like four copies of Halo. I think one of them is fucking platinum hits. Right. Uh, what, did 360 ever do one? Uh, 360, I think had. Yeah, they um, had the platinum hits. I don't know if it was. Yeah, I think it was. Fuck, what was it? It was something else. I thought. Uh, no, I think yeah, it was no, platinum they did, hits. They did. They did. They did. Um, yeah. They did, same, they did the same shit where they uh, they did two of them. They ended up doing the, the smart thing where they just put the they just made the strip the the trim silver. But yeah. Early on, they did this thing kind of what Nintendo did where they slimmed down the box art. But oh yeah 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 I get you. I yeah. Had, when, they had I had Nintendo, one. For, Nintendo did that with a fucking remember Castlevania one of the Castlevania DS games. Right. And they just took the the cover art and fucking made it smaller. Right. But they left the DS thing on the cover. Yeah, art you know what I'm talking about with that. Yeah. Uh, I get you. The yeah, I know one, you're talking about because Viva Pinata. The ones. Yeah, there you go. But Viva Pinata had it. I have a copy of Viva Pinata that was a. Yeah, and those ones look dumb. I always hate when people just yeah, draw that. Yeah, this is it right here. Yeah, because that's what my uh, Silent Hill 2 is. Oh, well, that's for Xbox. Yeah, it, look, it, it did look like that oh, for 360, yeah. though. Yeah, it sure It did longer. look something like that. Yeah. I like those ones, though. Yeah, those look good. Okay. Um, it makes anyway, it look good, but it looks prestigious. Like, oh shit. Moving on, so we can start wrapping this up. Uh, yep. Next story is. Wait. Uh, Wait. Right now. Oh, almost. Alright. Uh, two more stories, then we're done. And then we can do trivia, and then we got our topic at the end. Which actually, I'm going to tell you guys now. So yeah, can, yeah, you didn't tell me. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, favorite one DLC? One. I know, I know. One. Uh, didn't we'll we do that? that? I feel like we. Didn't we talk about this we one talk- time? Did we? Yeah. Like oh, we, we mentioned that we could we'll do it in the future, I think. Then we mention no, we'll do yeah, it in the no, future. Uh, Cuz I was thinking immediately what mine is. Yeah. Uh, Cuz we're okay. talking about like Mass Effect uh the you're right, stupid. You're right, I think it was right. during the trivia. I think it was during the trivia or something like that. Yeah. Uh, no, let's do it cuz we didn't we didn't really talk about it. We just mentioned that we'll talk about it in the future. Cuz uh, no, we brought it up on Dead Nightmare. Yeah, that's could, not yeah. right now. Um, was that for no? But that but that might have just been for when I was talking about Red Dead as well. I think we did talk about it because I think you also talked about uh uh the Bioshock Infinite DLC. Yeah, that's true. But what did I mention that during the the greatest games, like our favorite games during the like the the last decade or whatever? Probably. I don't know because I brought both. Uh, of those we're, gonna up. Do, we're gonna do an easy one and just throw away one for this time. Is uh let's we're do talk that. About, no, we're gonna talk about the first game we played this generation. First game from this generation. Yeah, we played, and we'll talk about that. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. I already know. Yeah, I'll be an easy one. Uh, yeah. All right. So next story. Um, Wait, does the Wii U count as this generation? No, right? No. Nah. Then that would count. All right, good. Uh, Thank God. Uh, oh, oh, no fucking Apex Wii U games. Season three is happening. Or ha- it's happened like right now. It's, yeah, it started yes um, two days ago. Kings Canyons is retired, so that kind of sucks. I kind of want I want to. Play, I was really tired yesterday, so I didn't get to play. But I really want to play a couple more games on that map before they retired it. It'll come back. In oh, I didn't know. Wait. Something. Oh, I didn't know they retired it. Yeah. They, so they do the opposite, like because PUBG, you can just go to whatever map you want. Yeah. So, well, uh, you, you Apex, can't. You just randomly get right. Apex games. just retires it. Oh, so okay. I didn't is, know that. Yeah, the map is. So gone. that's why I got some comments saying like, "I'm gonna miss this map." I'm like, "What are they saying?" <laughs> it's yeah. like, well. 
So that map is gone. They'll, they'll probably bring it back for some weekends, and that's smart. You know, it's like people really want to play it. They're like, oh, it's classic weekend, so come and play that. Yeah, but, okay. Um, yeah, so that map's retired now for the new one they got. Um, so that's kind of cool. A lot of cool skins. I like that. I'm, uh, I'm down to play if you guys want to play. That, that's Sure, I've been wanting to play it again, but I really need to actually get into it, because every time I play, I fucking suck dick play at it. Play a couple solo games, get, get used to the guns, because once you find the sure. guns that you want, like, mine's always the um, triple take and the uh, pistol. I forget what the pistol's name right now is. Um, but those things Larry. Are, are, yeah, Larry the Pistol. Uh, those ones are always my go-to, though. But, uh, yeah, the, the new map looks cool. New character looks mm. cool. Um, hoping that... Yeah, that the new of, character looks awesome. I love that drone. Crypto? You, you've seen more than I have, because I haven't actually looked at the character that much. Uh, the drone. Well, he has a drone. The drone is sick. It, that's going to change the game. Very much so. Do you have you seen what the drone actually? It's a drone. Oh, you're right? being sure, for a second. The way you said that, like, that's gonna change the game. No, it's gonna change the game. <laughs> no, well, I was I was being a little bit sarcastic, but it, I think it is gonna change it. Like because I, I I know now everybody's gonna be crypto and everybody's gonna get spotted all the time. You're gonna see fucking drones in the air all the time now. Uh, do you know what the drone does though? I mean, I'm assuming no. you can fucking figure it out. Uh, it's just it's a drone. You just throw it in there and you can like start. Uh, tagging people so but it goes in the air and it has a pretty good distance from what i heard so you can like really and it's not an ultimate too i should say the ultimate is that when you use the ultimate with the drone it creates an emp shock that like stuns everybody that's okay. near um but the the drone itself is not the uh, ult it's just the regular ability um and supposedly it has like pretty good recharge time like if, if it gets destroyed it's only like i think a 30 second maybe 40 second um recharge but you can bring it back whenever you want and send it right back out i think um it looks really dope though nice. so uh, watch ign use it and it was like it was pretty sweet he's just like oh there's people around let me fucking whip that boy out and see where they are and it's small enough where it's not too obvious it's in the air good shit all right you look cool yeah, hey, so you I'm got paper. We'll, we'll never play that i'll get the i'll get the battle pass yeah, I'm still a little confused on how battle passes work, but you can only explain it to me. It's not that difficult. It's it's just another thing you're activating to get more challenges during the day, so you can unlock more shit. But how is people not upset about that? Is, doesn't that seem like something people would really freak out about? Like, oh, we would. Now you have to pay. Yeah, you, know, you have to. I don't give a fuck to be honest. But um, it'd be like in Overwatch if they were like, "Hey, spend yeah. ten dollars here." Then it's like it gives you challenges like saying like, hey, you get three headshots with Hanzo today, or like get fifteen headshots with Widowmaker for this week, and then you get extra loot boxes because of that. Because of it, but you had to pay to get the opportunity to get those loot boxes. Loot boxes or, just, or, or extra stuff that they'll be like where like, or like new skins. It's level fifteen and you get this exclusive one that you get there. Or so, yeah, so. like when they did the Mercy skin, that made sense because it was for uh, charity. Like you, yeah. so you have to you have to spend money. Right. But Whenever they do loot boxes, you don't actually spend money on them. You spend right. money on the loot boxes. Where Fortnite seems like you actually spend money. Don't you have to, like, I heard, like, I, they had, like, the Batman skin or something like that. It was, like, $10 or some shit. Yeah, just for and, one and, and, like, what and, the and, fuck? Yeah, hey, those, the skins in, in Fortnite are, are pretty expensive. Yeah, um, and, and is that the only way you can get them, or do you, could you use in-game? Yeah, so currently? I'm pretty sure you can use them in-game. Yeah. Um, the way I, I've always known is that everything in-game is obtainable. It's just that you're grinding fucking if you're one of those to get all those things in there you're you're fucking playing more than we're playing overwatch right now like you're playing yeah. daily um, i haven't played overwatch in a little while actually so i guess i ain't getting shit i'm not i don't think i'm getting that bastion skin i think it's done now right I, yeah so i'm not getting that bastion skin, cool skin. <laughs> i don't play bastion anyway so um it was a cool skin too i'm a little upset it might still be up there you should check after this I think the last time I, I went on ye- a couple days ago to see how long I had until competitive was over. I still had like a month. And I looked. I think it said only a few days left. So you know. okay. I, don't, I don't care. Um, to be honest. Yeah. So you're you're paying more to get the challenges. And the challenges could be fun too. I guess they kind of. But do you get other stuff, right? Like not just challenge. You get. I'm assuming you get something. Bonus you're paying XP, for something, and you're also getting okay. some skins. I think. I think in general, right yeah, when okay. you unlock it, you because Apex, I think if you get the battle pass, you get the couple of skins they showed, which those skins look sick. Did you see them? Yeah. Yeah. The the Pathfinder one was really nice. Um, and the weapon skins. I'm assuming you you get those, right? You buy it. I'm pretty sure. You I do. watched the trailer it, yesterday, it, but I already if, forgot. If not, those are the ones that you're unlocking at the end. Okay. Because right. I know for the second one, the second one was the only time I ever bought a battle pass, and yeah, like at the end, you're getting the cool shit the more you play, obviously. Okay. 
but uh i don't know it, right. it's, it's egregious for us because we're like why the fuck would we do that but uh it, yeah, i get it too it's also some like 10 bucks and they can do shit whatever they want uh for uh the people that don't have time you could pay an extra 10 or 15 bucks and you skip 25 levels i think that's kind of stupid that is stupid i i heard that i was like oh okay it's like i didn't really understand you're what paying, they you're meant. paying to skip a bunch of levels i know i know i get that but i'm like but do you get the stuff for that level yeah. those levels i'm assuming so right okay yeah. I guess it's cool uh, if you're like me and you're behind and you're like. Yeah, if yeah. someone came and said, "Hey, I'll pay fifty dollars and we'll clear out half your backlog," you'd be like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> Except for I don't know how game. that works. <laughs> you'll get you'll get the memory of having. I get the it. memories of all those games. It's all shitty games too. I'm like, fuck. No. <laughs> just the achievements. Just the. All right. Every story. memory is an achievement. Last story know. before we move on to trivia. Oh boy. Is a uh, big one. Sean Layden leaves PlayStation. Oh no! I saw that and I'm sad. From what I heard, it was like a really shitty departure too. It's just so, like, yeah, you're gone. Bye. Yeah. Like, so right. it wasn't uh, Reggie or or even like, well, who was the one before uh, Sean Layton? Um, Thomas House or, or Adam? No, House, not Andrew House. Andrew House. Andrew House. No, not Andrew House. I'm sorry. Him too, but the one Jack before Trent. him too. Jack Trent. There you go. Um, Jack Trent had like a big one. He's just like, um, I'm leaving. Bye. Everybody's like, we love you, Trent. You're the best. Fucking, I love you, bro. And, Which, stuff. Dude, and same dude, thing with Andrew House. Good shit Andrew on, House. on fucking Jeff Keighley for that uh, for the Game Awards thing, because now two of those people are not there anymore. Reggie's yeah, right. out there. Reggie's out there. Sean and Lee's fucking there. John. Phil Spencer's up there. Like, <laughs> Phil Spencer's like, he's like I'm, I'm, I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> well, I'm at the opposite. I was like, he's like, hell yeah, I'm still here, baby. <laughs> oh, Last yeah, one. Yeah. Um, Doug Bowser's going to show up next, next year, or this year. Yeah, so oh, no, the, the Bowser shows up. This one, yeah, no one knows who he is. And he's also the he's also the head of Sony. <laughs> like, he yeah, took got two over. roles. <laughs> um, yeah, no, people were saying it's weird, and yeah, it very it very much is weird that uh, there was no big departure. There was no random pressing that said, "Hey, embargo," but we're announcing this. Um, nothing showed up there. People were thinking that it was a strained relationship because of uh, what's his name? Um, Pat Sajak. Yeah, no, who, Adam Sam. There's a power struggle going on there. At Kojima. Now with, um, Kojima is the head of Sony now. Oh, God, what's his name? Reggie fils uh, Beethoven, the dog. Frank Wishbone. Wishbone. Jim Ryan. <laughs> uh, uh, Jim, Jim Ryan uh, is there from Europe. He's up there. Jim and... Ryan. and uh, it's been kind of known that that he's the one that kind of ran PS3 in in Europe. So when okay. when when a lot of PlayStation was like, hey, we I think it, the way I heard it from kind of funny um, was the way it kind of went was Sean Layden was very much the one like, hey, we fucked up. PS3 was bad, our our bad. But uh, Jim Ryan was like, yo, I mean PS3 work in Europe, so it wasn't that bad. Um, mm, and then there there been some power struggles. Guys. I I think, and we this could be speculation, but like the way it's been going is that, that Sean Layden's been the one that's been wanting to do. Uh, a lot of the uh, single player stuff, and, and Jim Ryan's the one that wants to do a lot more services stuff. Um, which also, I'm going to make an, uh, an abbreviation here. Uh, I also think it's kind of funny that the day that uh, the day after Sean Lane leaves, Crossplay is announced as a, as a thing with PlayStation. Mm. So that's also part of the new story is that uh, Crossplay is now just an enabled feature, so whatever game wants to use it, they can use it now. All right. Um, so that, that's weird because I don't know if that, that says something about Sean Layden or if that just was a thing that's going on. Um, but yeah, there was a big power struggle that people were seeing was going on there, and then that, that might have led to it. Um, there could also be a uh, an NDA if he went to work with someone else. People are saying that maybe like, it makes sense if he Kevin went, Butler. It it makes sense if he went to Stadia, you know, since that that seems oh. to be a thing that that's going on a lot with with people. They, you, you either retire, but you announce like Reggie, you know, which also Reggie yeah. apparently is, is teaching, which is cool. Yeah, yeah, I, I heard that. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, you were you were you announced that you're doing that, right? Or most or, intimidating teacher ever. But. I've been dope. Yeah, I would love that. Yeah. Um, Where's the homework? I issued the homework two weeks ago, and it was due yesterday. You need. Now I'm gonna to beat get, your ass. My now body gonna, is ready. I don't. Now I don't, I'm gonna I don't fold know. you in half and break you on my I knee. I don't know where the homework is at. <laughs> I do not know where it is. <laughs> Where is it? Um, no. Games are good. Oh my god. 
I remember that was a quote from <laughs> one of the Nintendo Directs. I was co- games are good. I'm like, thanks. <laughs> oh yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> oh no, he said the game is good. That's the what game he said. is good. <laughs> yeah. The game is good. There we go. Ahead. Um. No, so it's been kind of weird. Um, no other words been said about this, so everyone's kind of bye. Like, yeah, everyone's kind of weird. Um, and and as a as a Greg Miller was talking about was usually this kind of shit. Especially like like for game journalism, for example, if some IGN's like, "Hey, I'm gonna work at GameSpot," they'll be like, "Hey, cool, thanks for your work. Get the fuck out." Like, they 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 do not spend time like 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 saying goodbye or anything. Like, "Hey, you're you're not with us anymore. Get out." Get out. Wow. GameSpot does that, you said? Uh, IGN did that with like people if they work with like GameSpot or something, you know, if they if they work. Oh, with them, okay, okay, okay. Wow, that's a. I mean, it makes sense, right? You're gonna go up to competitors, so like, all right, hey, cool, thanks. Sure. Like, everything, everything's but fine, you, but get out. Well, you, you say, you, I'm assuming they're freelancer writers, right? No, I'm saying in general, if they're if they're. Oh, if they ever worked at Gamespot. If someone's working at IGN, saying okay. hey. Well that, uh, well, that makes sense. That's what if I'm you're saying. gonna work at two different places, okay. I thought you're no, just you're saying like, at two different places. You're leaving. I thought IGN. IGN was that fucking spiteful. You worked at Gamespot before. You're working freelance with them. Fuck it out. It's like what I'm I know, saying. I know, I know, I know what you're saying now. If, if Sean Lane's like, hey, I'm going to work for Stadia. Like, all right, cool. Thank you. Yeah, that makes sense. You're out. Um, yeah, I get, I get that. I just say it's just weird because I didn't know he was working for Stadia. No, we don't know. We, that, that's speculation that, that he could be there or moving somewhere yeah. else. Because that, that, that would, that would re- what I'm trying to do is that that's, that could be the reflection of, like, Sean Lane's going to competitors. And that, that's why he's just I get like, it. all right, cool, you're out. Um, but, like, but, Stadia. But Stadia is not a competitor because nobody gives a fuck. So um, what does he do? That's like fucking what's his name went to the what was it the Angry Birds guys and then he like like the Xbox guy went to Don Matrix or anything else. Uh, uh, he went to Zynga. the Angry Birds guy, guys. Did he, no, he didn't go to like Don no Patrick, he went to somebody. Don Patrick went to Zynga. Zynga, okay, they said Sega. <laughs> I was like what? Yeah, I was like, and then then he he left like a couple years after that, right? Or I, think, I think so. And but, he looked uh, up. It could be that it could have been like they had some some meeting and then he was like, all right, I'm done. That that was it. And then they're like, all right, what well, can't because they don't even have a successor lined up for it or anything either, uh, which in in retrospect too, the the Japanese person I forget what what if David knew the name, someone on the Japanese side of, of like big higher up on the PlayStation side uh, left retired, they they said a yeah. whole thing for him and said hey we have a successor lined up for him soon we'll let you guys know, but they didn't say anything for Sean Lane so, something's going on there um, with a lot of people so leaving PlayStation too, like a lot of people have been leaving recently I know. Uh, John Drake left, and he was kind of like to have third parties. I think there. They've been getting a lot of people from. What was it Naughty Dog that left? Right? Was there a couple I'm people not from sure Naughty Dog that left? I that might have been, heard... been them wrapping up there. The... Yeah. Just like all right, we're, we're done. done. Yeah. But but for a lot of, a lot of upper stuff in places is kind of changing. I'm not sure if that's a sign of the times or if that's a uh, that's a hey we need to start. Uh, I don't know if it's a science time thing like oh players just kind of fucking things up or if they're like all right we got we got the new the new system coming in we can get a new set of people. Xbox time to rain. Or it's that. No. Next story. <laughs> Wait. No, I want to do do a different X. That sucks. That's a sucky. I'll just I'll just do, I'll just do Wu Tang. There you go. <laughs> ain't nothing to fuck with. <laughs> Xbox ain't nothing to fuck with. Xbox Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. Anyway, go ahead. What's the uh, next thing? But yeah, so then there's trivia, that, and then PlayStation uh, Crossplay is happening. So cool. Good on that. That's. I mean, that's the best news. So agreed. And now trivia. And now trivia. All right, now we're starting. Welcome to the yeah. trivia section. Hey, the two boys up? are gonna collide. Hey, fuck you. We're gonna fight for more music trivia. <laughs> we're gonna fight. <laughs> so get them Dukes up. Time to fucking boys. fight. Um, all right. So, as per last week, David, as usual, you're hopping out for music yeah. right away. Yeah. Yep. I had that last week. Chris so is gonna this, gonna go for his redemption run. He's gonna end it right here. Yeah, because not... Chris yeah. has a redemption run, right? About five well, points. In, in music there, trivia. But... Yeah, that's yeah. not really fair though. I got really close to it each <laughs> time. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're gonna lose. Yeah. So I'm gonna disappear now. Oh that's fine. shit. That's fine. That's fine. You'll lose the next five just like usual. So. <laughs> All right. You ready? Yeah. 
Let's do it. Wait, what are we doing though? You didn't say you just said music trivia. What is it for? Uh, video games. I, don't know. I know video games, but I thought it's like fucking. Do they not have cat like? Jeez, we're just getting right into it. All right, fine. Fuck well, it. What do you mean? Do you not have like? Does it not have like a what? Does it have not have like a? A theme? Like a a theme? There you go. That's where. I'm going for. No, no? The, the other okay. ones haven't. It just said video game music trivia for that. I, yeah, I guess oh, so. Oh shit. Oh. Yeah, that's really loud. <laughs> okay. She can hear it though. Okay. No, it keeps stopping though. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's because uh, this there's fucking ads everywhere right now. Jesus Christ. Oh, well. All right. All right. Uh, you ready? Listen to some ads. Yep. Okay. Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know any of these. <laughs> I knew Sonic, I was about it. Oh. I know what that is. Let me think. Is that Resident Evil? Uh, is there one you want to put after that? Two. Uh, yep. Okay, that's the same room music, I think. All right, ready? All right. Yeah. Oh, no, that's a menu, actually. Maybe it's the same room thing, too. Ace Attorney. Oh. Good ass song right there. Uh, keep going. I know what that is, but I can't. I'll come back. <laughs> There's like an idiot right now, so I walked in. Well, this is Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> Good. 
Oh, this guy's going Jesus retarded. Christ. He loves this game. So that's the fucking Dead Central shit going on right now. I right, got to go back. <laughs> <laughs> he got distracted. Well, I couldn't hear him because you were talking to him, so. Now you gotta have to go way back. Stupid ass NES game. Mario 3? Yep. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Shenmue, right? I would only know that because of fucking Kyle. Yeah, Shenmue. <laughs> I play Shenmue. I would only know that because. Of... Yeah. <laughs> that sounds weird, though. It's, I'm gonna say it's uh. It has to be one of the newer ones, right? That sounds. Uh, that sounds funky. I was literally actually just randomly playing this today for a reason. I'll explain later. I don't know which one to even say. World? No, it wouldn't be World. What was that? What would that be for? Can I hear it again? The... Well, when was this video made? So I know. Six years ago. Six years? Okay, so. Uh... Gal Galaxy, I guess? It is Mario, right? I'm not fucking on. That's stupid, am I? That sounds so generic at this point. It might as well be Mario. I don't know. Let's fuck it. Just go. Doom. No, no, I was trying to pause it. Doom. That's definitely Doom. Doom. Yeah. Wait, stop it real quick. Go back to it. Is that ghoul, uh, super ghouls and ghosts or a fuck? I can't, I can't picture it, but I've heard that somewhere. Or ghosts and goblins, whatever the fuck it's called. Super ghouls and goblins. It will. Super ghouls and. No, go. It would be ghosts and goblins or ghouls and ghosts or whatever. I, I, I forgot which goblins. one. Is. Ghosts and Goblins? Oops. No, Ghosts and Goblins, that's what it's called over here. Ghosts and Goblins? I, I've been trying every single one. No, oh, okay. That's not... Okay. Keep going. Right, continue. If that is, I'll give you the point on that. I don't know. I don't think it is. It just sounds like something. I know, I'm trying, I'm trying to run. Okay, uh, Luigi's Mansion? That one? That sounds like Luigi's Mansion. Um... Yeah. Was? Okay. Yep. Wait, stop it? Play that one again. <laughs> I 
<laughs> no. You can't do that. <laughs> go back go back again. I fucking can't, distract I can't me, fucking was... dab because it's fucking Mix up all these fucking old games now with all this fucking music. I don't know. I've heard that song before. I can't. I can't fucking place where it's from. Wait, go back. I didn't. Wait, go back to that one. Metal Gear Solid? Yep. I got it from that one note too that, that showed up there for a second. Yeah. Dude, dude. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like when you, you're caught in this action music. Like yeah. All these fucking I can't. <laughs> they all kind of bubble blend bobble? Let's See. No. Yeah, they all fucking blend together, and I can't remember exactly what game it's from. Yeah, I'm, I'm right there with you right now on this one. I know, I know yeah. it. Yeah, I'm gonna say Bal balloon fight. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> there you go. I think it was like some fucking stupid... Is that like Marvel vs. Capcom 2 or some shit? <laughs> no, but I would I would really believe yeah. that. Sounds like one of the menu songs. Is that like Crazy Taxi, then? That sounds like some fucking Sega Genesis... I mean, not Genesis, uh, Dreamcast shit. No Crazy Taxi. No? Okay. Alright. Okay. Continue. You got a uh, six minutes left in the quiz and about a minute and a half left in the actual music, so you can do a run around again if you want. Yeah, that, that's why. That's why I was skipping a lot of stuff in the beginning. Wait, start start that one again. Is 
Is that Galaxy? No. No, oh, what the fuck is I, that? I can totally not... tell that. Oh. I can't. I can't place it. All right, go ahead. I think that's Fable. No. Fable 2? Yes. Okay. There you go. There's a Fable game. Sounds like Castlevania. Um, Symphony of the Night, I guess, if I had to pick one. No. No? Okay. I think it's a Castlevania game, but keep going, I guess. Okay. Ah, maybe not. That Fallout? Let's see. Fallout mm. three or four? Yes. It's four. Fallout or three. three. Oh, I guess four was not the back one, so it would be Fallout three. All right. the end of it so we're going back to the beginning now okay Sorry. okay three minutes is that star fox that's something some space no star Sounds fox like, no star fox fuck what is that play it again play that one I'm at the uh, whistle. Is that Silent Hill song? Not Silent Hill. Not Silent Hill? Oh, you mean like it, uh, it's not, it is I, Silent Hill? I, I okay. guess it makes you pick the one, so like. Okay. The two? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm just Sounds like... Wait, how much time do I have left? I'm one minute. Oh, never mind.
Castlevania? Maybe that maybe that one's a Castlevania. Say Castlevania four if I had to pick one. No. No? Alright, screw it. Got ten seconds. I don't know, whatever you guess, so. I already did that one. Alright. 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 Got 14 out of 20, or out of 8, 90. That's 20, I wish. 14 out of 90. <laughs> nice. uh, 14, the one, right. the one Mario one that you're missing was Super Mario 64. Oh, that's Super 64. All right, yeah, that was the first level. That was a Mario game, though. Yeah, it was Super Mario 64. Okay, I knew it was a Mario game. Fucking, whatever. So you got 15, so I'll save that one, and we'll do another one. I got 14 of it. Sorry, 14. Uh, yeah, because no, I, ac- I, I accidentally it. typed in the wrong game. <laughs> I, I typed in a game and you, you got it for a different one, though, so it didn't really count. Okay. What was it for? Uh, Castlevania 4, which was coming up later on. Oh, that minute. okay. All right. All right. Bring him back. Now he's not looking. Look! 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 Stupid dumb idiot. Yo! <laughs> I like how every time we're dabbing, he's just coming in, you're like, oh, me? You got dabbed now. That's a good. That's a catch his attention. <laughs> yeah, let's see how long we got. <laughs> I hate that I'm doing this. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> we shake your hand. <laughs> Come on, look over your arms and get tired. You fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he looked over here for a second. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is terrible uh, audio content. <laughs> but this man looked over. I got a message. Is he fucking... Oh, I thought you did mess. No. <laughs> there, 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 there. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't message him. <laughs> okay. I thought you did. He's stupid. Oh, right on time. <laughs> oh, oh you well, that was six. So, it, it, fucking Gore was dabbing for the last minute waiting for you. <laughs> Yeah. What the fuck? Sorry, it's hard to tell sometimes when you're just fucking dancing to the beat or when you actually need my attention. You're right. dancing more than us? Are you, guys re- you ready? Yeah. How many, so, how, many did, how many do you think Gore got? Ten. The better than that, baby? Yeah. Fourteen. All, all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Fourteen. Right. That's usually around ten or eleven or twelve. Ten, is ten eleven got. is where you guys actually usually land. Yeah. So, so David's got to bring it. And, and right. uh, Gord, you want to tell him how you did Well, this you time? know why? Because I let all yeah. the video play out. So he, he let it play out and, and went at, back in for an extra two minutes at the end. Okay. So, you ready? Yeah. All right. Let's start this. Sonic. Oh, is that a uh, Silent Hill 2? Yep. That almost sounds like Soul Calibur 3. Uh, no. 2. No. 4. No. Five. No, and not six either. Alright. This, about... this is made six years ago, by the way. How about, how about Soul Calibur? Yeah, how about the first one? Nope. What about Soul Blade? Oh, that's Street Fighter 2. You got it. Uh, is that Puzzle Bobble? Let's take a pause to catch up here. 
No. That's Donkey Kong Country. You got it. this double dragon no that's too lively for double dragon um yeah. i'll say streets one. of rage 2 it's definitely some kind of beat em up no nah, streets of rage it is streets of rage no oh i'm not sure it's ah uh, fuck woke up keep going Oh, is that Killer Instinct? No. Damn. Combat? No. Alright. Sounds like a Dan Foreman rendition. Oh, Psychonauts! Yep. Fuck! Ah, oh, I know this! God damn it! Ah! Oh. Wait again? Yes! Oh, it's this menu music and something I played recently. Oh, <laughs> what is it? <laughs> oh. More time or do you want to keep going? I got that one. That sounds like some kind of Soul Calibur music as well. Yeah. No, it's not. Castlevania. That's Castlevania. Yeah, there you go. Uh, not Castlevania. Castlevania it's four. three. It's four. four. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> God damn it. I feel bad. So wait, was I right? Yeah. Oh, that's... Oh, fuck, fuck. No, go back. That's Kingdom Hearts. Yep. Fucking nerd. Gross. That's Legend of Zelda. Sure. It's not like Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah, it's Kingdom Hearts birth by after the birth of...
That's Super Mario Brothers. Oh, uh, it's one of them. One of them, Major. Give uh, one, two, three, three. Yeah, yeah. You're at nine. Diablo two. That's Diablo two. Diablo 2, Adrian. Jesus. Uh, not Diablo 2. Diablo 1. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, I, knew it was some, I knew it was Diablo. Diablo. Hate that okay. I knew this. <laughs> Is that Jade Empire? No. Okay. Yes, how did you know? Uh, fuck. It's Summer Core, too. I mean, I knew what series it was from. Like, it sounds like Kirby, but I don't think it's right. I knew what series it was from, to be fair. Oh! Fuck! God damn it! Play that one one more time. Chiller? No. Okay. Four a tie, five to win. That's Blighter House? No. Two, three. Animal Crossing. It's Animal Crossing? Ooh. Yep. Gross. <laughs> Is that Secret of Mana? Chrono Sugar? Let's see. No. Chrono Cross. No. Alright.
Is that Lunar? Is that spelled just Lunar? Yeah. L U N A R. No. Right. Could be one of the Lunar games, I guess. Uh, I'll see. No, that's right. I mean, it's not mine anyway. So. No, it's not. All right, good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Is that clock tower? You hear it? No. One, two, three. No. Haunted ground? Haunted ground? Haunted ground? Haunting ground. Haunting ground. It's a part of the clock tower series. Nope. Alright. You're at uh, seven Vanguard. minutes left. You need three to tie, four to win still. And you have about two minutes of song left. Portal. Yeah. Two to tie, three to win. Uh, Final Fantasy, uh, seven? Yep. One and tie, two to win. That's gotta be some kind of DDR. Yeah, that's what I think too, but I don't think DDR should count. <laughs> I don't think any music games like that should it's count. It's not Dance Dance Revolution. It's fucking like Dance fucking... Dance fuck Mania. Yeah. Dance Central. <laughs> yeah, Dance Mania or one of those other fucking not, stupid Neither ones. of those. It's Dance one of those. Maniacs. Yeah, it's like that or some shit. Dance Maniacs. Mario. How about that Mario one? I bet it's that Mario one. Mario Mix? <laughs> yeah, Mario Mix. No, it's not. <laughs> Is Mario right. dancing that? Continue on. That sounds kind of like some kind of double dragon. You got some double dragon on here? Yeah. You got it. You're tied. You One go. more to win. There's no game work. Oh, is that, um... No. Fuck, that's character select music from something. I go, go back, back. here. Yeah. Was that Capcom, uh, the one that I was uh, thinking of, was that Capcom versus SNK? No. Uh, Marvel versus Capcom 1? I can get one of them. No. Alright, keep going. Alright. I know it's Four some minutes kind left. of cutie fighter. Oh, is that Mass Effect? None of them? Nope, tried them. Alright. You got a few songs left till it goes over. Definitely forget one of the last ones. Starting over.
I didn't get this one, right? No. Is that Final Fantasy IV? Please, no. No. <laughs> Is there any Final Fantasy? It'd be a Final Fantasy. Sounds like... That's the one I thought like was space music. <laughs> no. Is there any Fantasy Star? Uh, you have to spell fantasy differently. Yeah. P P H. Uh, it's P H. No. Dragon Quest slash Warrior. It does sound like Dragon Quest. I, I hear that for sure. It's some fucking RPG. <laughs> but yeah, I, I pray it sounded like space music to me at first, like Star Fox or some shit. No. All right, continue on. You fucked me up because you the ones you just answered answered a lot of other ones in this, in this quiz. Oh god <laughs> damn. <laughs> Oh, well, there's so many fucking RPG music in there. <laughs> Goddamn. About a minute left. This one I didn't get right. No. All right. Uh, Dragon Quest. No. Fantasy Star. Ain't that no. a bitch? All right. Continue on. <laughs> you're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you this: you're not going to reach either of those. Is that one of the King of Fighters? Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> so close. No. Damn it. I know that's some kind of either beat em up or fighting game. God damn no, it. No, you don't. Continue. You Final 30, fight. You got 30 seconds left. Final fight. That was it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Come on now. Oh, it's, fuck. Yeah, fuck you. Uh, actually, it doesn't count. I gave him Castlevania 4, so. No, you didn't. So tired. No. <laughs> I would have gone through the whole list and you know it. Uh, yeah, no. It's just like you should have done Tekken, right? And you're, you uh, no, <laughs> you're, uh, you're less fucked me up because you actually got 21 out of 90, but you just kept naming the wrong ones for the wrong yeah, ones. Yeah, you just kept fucking saying games. <laughs> so, Dark Fantasy that... Fire, Mortal Kombat, fucking. <laughs> All right. Dragon Quest, Fantasy Star, Final Fight, Street Fighter. So let's, let's go ahead and go, let's go through. I could do that too. <laughs> 30, Why don't you, asshole? 30 seconds I'm left. Shuffle, fuck, cuckhead. Alright. Alright, 30 seconds left and got it. You need 30 seconds. He had 30 seconds left before it timed out. I thought out. you said he still had 30 seconds. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying it's he, he barely got that. Alright, let's go through it. He always barely gets it. Just want everybody to know. <laughs> we, got, we got one more music quiz, so. All right, I'm see. sure he'll I'm undefeated that so far in music. Yeah, barely. <laughs> all right. the music. All right, all Everything right. else, though. Like, uh, if you ask some Dino Crisis questions, or fuck you, fuck up. Right, <laughs> let's let's do this. All right, Sonic. <laughs> Dino Crisis. Uh, Joe yeah. and Mac, Caveman Ninja. Oh, that's what that was. Fire Emblem. Fuck. Oh. Uh, oh. Silent Hill 2. You guys both got that. Uh, the Last Remnant. That's what that was. I don't fuck with that one. Street Fighter 2. We both got that, I assume? This next I, one. I don't, I don't play Street Fighter. Frogger. Oh! oh ah, fuck! Ah. Fuck! Oh, yeah, man. Alright. A Legendary Starfy. Sure. I played that. That's pretty fun DS game. I don't know why it's on there. Alundra. Oh, Alundra. Okay. <laughs> Donkey Kong Country. Uh, David's gonna kick himself on the next two. Am I really? Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Oh, fuck me! Puzzle Bobble. What? 
No! Bullshit! <laughs> Contra. Oh, yeah. Damn it. Final fight. Rocket Knight Adventures. Okay. Okay. Maniac Mansion. Oh, okay. Breath of Fire 3. Ah! I'll play a few minutes in here. Afterburner. That's what that was. God damn it. Max Payne. Oh, oh. that's what that. Amazing. Resident Evil 2. God damn it. Alright. Chris got that one. Psychonauts. Uh, rest in peace, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Oh, yeah, for it. Ace Attorney. Damn it! <laughs> damn it! <laughs> Wait, why rip? Uh, you'll hear in the news. We'll talk about it later. Ratchet and Clank. Okay. Metroid Fusion. Oh, okay. okay. Baldur's Gate 2, Shadows of Am. Castlevania 4. Jet Force Gemini. Oh, okay. Shinobi. Shinobi! Kingdom Hearts. Gross. Should be ashamed. Legend of Zelda. Now this next one's for David. Street Fighter EX. Oh, fuck. I haven't actually played, I'll be honest, I haven't played EX 1 or 2. I've only played 3. Space Channel 5. Damn it! Alright. Adventure Island. Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed that. Cannon Fodder 2. Sure. Good title for that game. Mario Bros. 3. <laughs> Pilot Wings. Ah, uh, okay. Diablo. Sorry, I'll listen. Still, uh, while I listen, to tell us. Shenmue. Shenmue, bitch. Oh, why didn't you get that one? He did. did actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> Escape from Monkey Island. Okay. You guys both missed it. I was surprised. Super Mario 64. Oh, yeah. fuck. Well, to be fair, I did. I knew it was a Mario game. That's true. I just couldn't. Uh, Shin Megami Tensei 3. I just oh, I haven't played Nocturne. Doom. Fuck! Ah! Oh, Chris got that in a heartbeat. <laughs> Bionic Commando. You can tell it kind of goes out like a Killer Instinct. Oh, wait, no, I got that one, right? No, you didn't. Yeah. You said it for oh, something else. You said it for a different game. Yeah, I got James, it, Pond, James Pond, Underwater Agent. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, Crystallis. Okay. I haven't played that game in a while. Fantasy Star 4. There you go, that's Fantasy Star, you dumb fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi's Mansion. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't have gotten that. Fahrenheit. Ah! Uh, Indigo Prophecy. Loco Roco. Ah, uh, okay. Would not have gotten that. Okay. I, I didn't... Uh, Pokemon Diamond Pearl Platinum. Oh, okay. I played Patapon. Patapon's, so. Patapon's great. Yeah. Mock Rider. Cock Rider? Yeah. Yeah, Mock Rider. Cock Rider. Oh. <laughs> Animal Crossing. That That's Animal Crossing? That sounds horrible. <laughs> Is that really Bahamut? Animal Crossing? Yeah. yeah. Bahamut Lagoon. No, I meant like, it sounds oh, like a horror. Oh, fuck. Okay. It sounds like a horror song, the Animal Crossing one. <laughs> uh, Super Mario Kart. Really? Okay. King of Fighters 94. 
There you go. Come on, guys. Banjo Kazooie. Dude, Dude, I, I, I told you I don't play me in like 12 years. Uh, this one, this one got me. This is a Wii Fit. <laughs> do, do we look like we engage yeah, in Wii hey, Fit? <laughs> Secret of Evermore. If it was from Wii oh, Unfit, fuck. then I know. Blaster Master. Oh, that's where that's. Oh, Alright. I've heard that song so many times. Metal Gear Solid. Soul Calibur. At Soul Calibur? Okay. Yep. I thought that was Castlevania. Like, you guys saying it was a dance game? Yeah, it's yeah. a dance game, right? Uh, think of an action, an action game. Oh. Uh, oh, it's like probably like a one of those fucking... No, like your revenge. You're, you're on the right games. track, David. Is it a bullet <laughs> hell game? No, David's on the right track. Tell him what you said. I didn't hear what you said. I said Metal Gear Revengeance. Oh, is it like... Is it Vanquish? No, on no? the right track still. Oh, uh, Bayonetta. Uh, yep. Okay, Bayonetta. Uh, I got that, so it's a tie again. <laughs> Tomb Raider. Yeah, I want to guess Raider? that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sweet it in two. Oh, fuck, alright. I haven't played Sweet It in two. They're great games, but damn, they're expensive now. Worms. Well, three is not that was cheap. What was this one? Worms. Okay. I'll play Worms. The uh, Misadventures of Tron Bone. Oh, 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 fuck. Yeah, Tron Bone's fucking expensive, man. Time Crisis. Yep. Uh, I only play an arcade. Now. Uh, this one's gonna get David. Balloon Fight. I was never a big fan of Balloon Fight. I feel like that's something I everyone knows. Uh, Tales of Destiny. I knew it was some Tales games, I wasn't just gonna this, throw this down. This one's Mega Man, gentlemen. Portal. The second you said Mega Man, I immediately heard it. Yeah. Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. Corey, you got that one, I imagine, right? Sonic R. Yeah. Who fucking played Sonic R? No one. Get out of here with that. A boy in his blob. Trouble on blob. Blo Bloblonia. You just say uh, Blobolnia. I think there's only one game, so it's uh, fine. Kirby's Adventure. Zack and Wiki. Uh, Zack and Wiki make a porno. I got that. <laughs> Echo. Okay. Echo? The Dolphin. Oh, okay. Eco, you mean? No, Echo. Oh. Yeah, no. Fable I 2. Dream. I was dreaming. Table too, man. Classic. Majora's Mask. Damn it! Yep. Double Dragon. Uh, Bait and Kaidos. Oh, ew. That game sucks. Siphon Filter. And it's too bad it's card or Damn it! Ah, oh, fuck. Siphon Filter? Man. Bait and Kaidos series. sucks. Star Soldier. Fallout 3. Oh, yeah. Okami. Fuck, okay. yeah. Yep. Fuck it. Everything sounds so similar. Final Fantasy 13. Ew. <laughs> Who played that game with the audio on? Is it called a Turd Theme? Dark Cloud. Oh! oh God damn it. Uh, uh, yeah. And Chrono Cross. Yeah, idiot. You said Chrono Cross earlier. Should say right. for the end. All right. So congratulations, David, on another win yeah. in the music category. Uh, you another need it. squeaky little <laughs> fucking victory there. Brings the points up to twenty-one. If there was score. more shooting games with fucking music and shit, then I would win. I'm, I'm just gonna saying. have some. I'm gonna have some special. All these going. fucking dumbass RPGs and fighting games. I'm gonna have a bonus point goat in the next uh, music one too. Fuck so you. It'll be it'll be something different. So, Fuck uh, off. Stay tuned next week for the final <laughs> video game sick. music trivia. Fuck you. No, not next week. Yep. Fuck you. Back to the podcast. Back to the podcast. Well, no. We have to record the podcast now. No. no. Fuck you. You cock. We're back. All right. Welcome back. What would you think about that? Gore, what do you think? Uh, that was really fun. Uh, sitting here fucking listening to music again for the ninth time. 
Uh, it was a great time. Or just mad that he hasn't won one yet. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah. If you put a little bit more fucking action games in there, you know, good actual good games in there, then maybe I'll fucking guess them. Maybe if they had good music, or they do have good music. They just keep picking all the fucking stupid ones. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't realize an action game needed to have fucking long, dumb, fucking stupid operatic goddamn songs like every RPG out there. Thank you, Amaran, for our, our last couple of weeks of trivia. Fuck you. We appreciate you. I didn't win, so I don't have anything to fucking... No, I don't have any allegiance towards whatever the fuck his name is. You you ruined me. Why don't you, you make it, it fucking so I win? All right. Last Fucker. thing we got up here is our topic. Okay. And uh, as I said, it's going to be just... What was the first game we played? Generation. This generation. Let's talk about it for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, all right. I mean, my mine is not something I, I need to talk about too much. Gore played Forza. So, uh, no, it wasn't, actually. My first game I played... Huh? Dead Rising. No, it was... it was Well, it was almost it's similar. It was uh, Rise, Son of Rome. Uh, that was the first game I played. Still one of the uh, best-looking games of generation. Sure, yeah. That was a, it was a good-looking game. They definitely... Uh, Started the Xbox off on the right note when it comes to graphics, at least. So maybe not gameplay, because the gameplay was. I don't know how it's aged, but at it's the not time. It's bad. I, I always try to like play great. the game. It's only like five hours, right? Yeah, it's really short. I, I keep trying to play it, but I keep just getting bored by the second chapter. Not even that it's, not even that it's like bad. It's just like not oh, really the, the game training? I want to play. It's a training, right? You have to no, do. Not even that. I, I, it's like, I, get, I get like about an hour in. I'm like, hey, I keep going, but it just, I'm, I just. Don't really care about the saying too much. I'll get through it probably sometime, sometime soon. I keep well, looking at it. Rise of it was like that game was so gorgeous. I love the setting. I would have loved a sequel. Oh yeah, if they like made a sequel where it was like, no, and I don't even need open world, just something a little bit bigger because it was a fucking li- probably the most linear game I've played this generation. Still, it's like literally there's no place. Corridors. To- there's no hallway here just to explore a little bit here and there's, there's nothing here it's to literally go down it <laughs> it's like all right you go down this you make a left make a right go up some stairs sometimes there you go you beat the level good job you only have eight more left don't worry you'll be done in about two and a half hours it's like all right it was really small in scale and that's not what that game needed that game needed to be big i mean it's fucking it's I mean, Rome the why it looks so good is because of that, though. Son of Rome. I want to see some fucking battles, bro. I don't, I mean, you get some, I guess, but it's just not... You don't feel it at all. Like the, the game starts with a big battle, and you don't feel it. It's just like, I don't know. I want to feel it, baby. But uh, you know what? Shadow of Rome. Go play that. That's a good game. Not that it has the, uh, the expanse of a, what that I want, but that's a good game. But... It was gorgeous. I'll give it that. It was a very good looking game, and it started off Xbox right, where I had some action. It didn't need to focus too much. Uh, I think a, a great first game for a console should be a game that you don't really need to focus too much on. And it's short, it's quick, it just gives you a little taste. It's just like, this is going to be the future. Uh, and that was a great one. Uh, I also played Dead Rising 3. I think I probably played that the same night, I'm assuming. But uh, Rise, I remember playing that one first because it was supposedly the game that really like wows you. I also right. played four five, but uh, uh, then I think uh, was it a week after? No, I got I, I got my PS four like I think like a day after my Xbox One, so I believe. If not, then I played something on PS four first, but I don't remember what it was. So, oh no, yeah. was it Knack? Oh no, if I got my if I got my PS four first, it might have been Knack. All right, never mind. I think I got my PS four first. I played Knack first. Great game. Anyway, go ahead. Let's pretend uh, it was right. David, what'd you play? Uh, the first game of this generation for me was Destiny. Really? Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've had a lot of people at work that were super excited about it, and that was the reason why I got my PS4 initially was, it's like, all right, fuck it. I guess it's time to get a PS4 now. And, uh, yeah, so I spent uh, a good 100-plus hours in fucking Destiny. How'd that go? Good times. Love that game. How's Destiny 2? I hated it. <laughs> Why? That's now you called me a contrarian earlier. Come on, that's like that's everybody's like, like that's the exact opposite of what everybody thinks. Everybody's like, "Fuck the first one," but second was great, bro. 
I, I heard they kind of oh, fucked up. Oh, depending, depending on... on I heard they kind of fucked it up later with the DLCs, but when it first came hardcore, out, Destiny 2... Yeah. Was really well, casual fans love Destiny 2 more. Hardcore fans don't like Destiny 2 as much. I don't like either of them. I, I hated the changes to the classes. It had the same problem at launch that the first game did. Of, it was very bare bones, and considering they had all the time in the world to just go ahead and fucking work on making it a full fucking game to begin with... Uh, I, I didn't care for it at all, but uh, the first Destiny I had a lot of fun with. Taken King was one of the best fucking expansions to a game uh, of that genre. Uh, absolutely loved it, uh, but no, I had a lot of fun with Destiny. Uh, great game. I liked it. Um, so you don't want to try Destiny 2 when the update comes out? Because it, it actually just came out and they fixed a bunch of shit. Shadowkeep? Let's go. I might try it, but it's not anywhere near okay. do list. I mean, yeah. I'm still going through my backlog, and plus now I'm planning what I'm going to play on it for Extra Life, uh, which I'm going to use Extra Life as an excuse to go through the weirder shit in my collection. Like, I'll be playing some Zebo stuff. Uh, I'm going to play Exhibits Pimp My Ride on PlayStation 2. Are, are, we, oh, doing, hey. are we doing uh, yeah, man. Extra, extra Life together? <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm doing it for work, but we can all do it together. I don't give a shit. I can multitask. I just, if it's because of the fact that I'm doing it in tandem with work, I got to be a lot more PG, but. So you can't call like uh. So I can't uh, call Gore the cuck that he yeah. is. But... Oh, okay, that's good. You insult fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know what insult um... means, but <laughs> I don't Gore, know what look in the means. mirror. You found one. Oh, I, I guess it means a sex god. Yeah, go say go say that on Twitter right now. I guess. Uh, <laughs> insult means, means sex, sex god. god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know what I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out what we're gonna do. I, I know we. I kind of want to fuck around with the. Uh, well, Chris can't stream. I'm trying to... Huh? I said, no, I cannot. Yeah. So Unless I'll... we stream from Xbox or some shit, like, straight from there on, t- on whatever the fuck. Yeah, I'm going to see if there's a way we can kind of do some, like, weird, like, those Twitch group things or something. Or I might even just do a mix yeah. it. We'll see. You don't um, need to do that. I, I'm only, like, 12 followers away from, like, digitally getting affiliate status. Right. So I kind of want to fuck around with Twitch a little bit more before I just go back on Mixer. Figure it out. We'll do something, though. Uh, anyway, the one I played, I think, I think I played. Ooh, what did I play first? It might have been. It was Forza, I think, because I think well, we wanted to play multiplayer, but there was nothing in Dead Rising, and you had it first. Dead Rising had multiplayer. All right, wait. Right. <laughs> did we play multiplayer? First no, I think time? it did. Because you play as the fucking. I know like day the, one. Yeah, I definitely like, played Forza. You play as a guy, if you play Dead Rising 3 all the way throughout, uh, you, there's one character that never gets any screen time at all, and that's a character you play as if you're the second player. But in the game itself, if you play only one player, you never see that guy almost that's ever. Because um, I was thinking, like, who the fuck is this guy? You show like, random times, like, a few hours later, I'm like, I see him just chilling. I'm like, who the fuck is that guy? I was like, oh, that's a guy you play as in co-op. Um, maybe it was only on- local? I don't think it was. I think maybe. it was online. I think I'm I, I know. Online. We definitely oh. played for today one, though. Four is the one that didn't have co-op. Anyway, for, yeah, Forza we played. I don't know about day one, but it wasn't. Yeah, we played day one. I remember that. Um, okay. We also we I, walked around with the Skype app a lot. Oh yeah, I remember that. So we, we just we, like we, we Skype, but we 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 use Connect a lot. We should just say like we we play Connect more than fucking some of the games on day one. We're just screaming shit at like yo know, Xbox Connect, uh, Skype, uh, uh, Slutty Boy, or <laughs> we had. Because we, we switched their names and shit, so we just call them, like, whatever their nicknames were. Like, Salty Boy, call him. And then we'd amaze people by showing that, like, hey, look, listen to what I could do. And you just hear people go, whoa, it's calling me right now. Whoa. <laughs> that was back in 2013. Now, now that's just, like, normal shit. Now you blow people's minds if you say, hey, look what I can do, and you dial a phone number. You're like, Whoa. What? You don't need you don't to say anything? You just yeah, use your you fingers? <laughs> you don't need um, to say anything. Yeah, I might have done that. Uh, Power Star Golf might be one of my fo- first ones, too. Um, That was a good one. I remember I really, that one. I really want to play Loco play... Cycle, but then I ended up playing it on 360. Ooh, I played Loco Cycle. Uh, Killer um, Instinct we played a little bit of. Killer Instinct was fun, yeah. There's a lot of good launch titles for the Xbox or uh, Xbox One. I still stand by the fact that I think it had a better launch lineup than PS4 for sure. Oh, it definitely did. The PS4 had like nothing. It had Killzone, which was mediocre, and it had Knack, which was amazing. Of course, but yeah. you know, 
Yeah, well, the knack was amazing. Uh, Rezo Gun was the was the killer. Oh, Rezo Gun, on yeah, PS4. kill Rezo Rezo Gun was better than pretty much any game released that day. I would say. Yeah. For a while too. In contrast, that game was pretty cool. That was the guys that did um Happy Few, We Happy Few, whatever. But... Xbox guys yeah. now. Yeah, there you go. But the contrast was pretty cool. I I can't say the same about ha- We Happy Few though, because uh, I I didn't care for it. All right, that's the podcast. That's it. Um, quick little, quick these little podcasts topic. will be going up more later in the day. They used to go up around uh, 11 o'clock Pacific. They'll probably go up around more later afternoon because I don't want to kill myself editing these every single night and then not get enough sleep the next day. So I'm just going to export these and just edit in the day. Uh, so probably, like I'd say, around maybe 4 or 5 Pacific time. Uh, and that will be consistent from there. Um, and then hopefully with that, too, if... Uh, if I figure out a better way to do a, a, a cooler looking format instead of what I got going on right now, we could, pick, we could fuck with that a little bit more, too. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. All right. Send us out, David. Yeah, David, do something cool. Fuck the police.